And hello everyone, I believe I'm streaming. I should pull up the YouTube over here. Uh, let's see here, let's do that. And go to our YouTube. Um, a lot to talk about today because we're doing some things that are different, but let's take a look at our channel, your channel. And I am, in fact, live. So this is working. Uh, let's see here. Let's do there we go. Mute that. And make sure we have all of our chat on. And there we go. We are on the way. Let me double check my sound levels. I think if I... I don't know if you're catching the desktop. Let's check everything here. Because... Uh, OBS likes to kind of reset itself and mess around. But anyway, here we are, and welcome and hello, everyone. You're going to see that this looks a little different today, and that's because we are testing out a game with Foundry. We are doing the battle. I'll turn my face off so you can see more of the map. We're doing the battle of uh, Quatre Bra, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And I am... The Prince of Orange, First Corps Commander. There is, uh, there are several divisions underneath my command, but at the moment I'm starting with only one division that will be deployed forward. And here we are, we're moving the screen already. And I, it looks like I have to right click. I've been moved up here, I don't know why. I think this may be the edge of the map. But I've been moved up here and uh, I'll be deployed forward is the plan. We expect the French to attack us in the center, but they may also try to flank us, and we're going to we're basically playing a defensive game. I have personally encouraged uh, that we counterattack if and when we can at least stabilize the line from the French attack. Um, I'm a big fan of the spoiling attack, um, but we'll see. What happens? The commander in chief is Zindos. Special Zindos loves to talk, um, but uh, he's be turning into a fine commander. And uh, let's see how he does today. He uh, will be marching in with a couple of other divisions, which will ultimately be assigned to my command. So I'll have, I believe, three divisions under my command. But we'll see what happens. I'm going to start out with just one division, and that division is probably going to be under pressure pretty early. And it's not a very strong division. It has a lot of militia in it. It's the, it's Dutch. So the quality of the unit is relatively weak compared to the other forces that we have coming in. But we do have uh, the advantage of choosing our terrain. And uh, Zindos, ha or Wellington, I should say, has selected our position, so hopefully he chose well. All right, so let's take a look here at what we're seeing here. We're seeing Foundry, as you can tell. We got a little icon up here for Foundry. You see there are a bunch of different special tools here and so on. Uh, Foundry is something that we are considering switching to, and in fact, we have a really good monster, uh, a really big monster game planned for July 15th of this year, which is 2023. It's going to be called Grand Waterloo, and we're doing this big, huge battle. This particular battle is, in fact, a prelude to it. It's really a test of the Foundry system, and the goal is to see if Foundry will meet our needs. Now, why not Tabletop Simulator? Tabletop Simulator has a number of limitations. Uh, the Foundry does automatic fog of war. It also allows you to have basically an unlimited number of umpires and an unlimited number of players. It seems to hold up pretty well under stress testing, with which means a lot of people on, on the uh, software using it at the same time. Uh, it's pretty much as moddable as Tabletop Simulator, maybe a little less friendly, but uh, it can be done and it can be learned. As you can see, we have uh, our pieces and map and everything in here, so that's not an issue. 
and fog of war is automatic so you see here that we don't see the whole map so i am very limited in what i see around me in fact i would argue that the fog of war that i'm seeing here is actually quite large if i'm in an urban area i should just be seeing something like smaller than this i should just see really what's in that square um but this here's a pretty generous uh vision right here i don't know if that will change or if they'll take that down um we'll see how that works i don't know that it's dynamic i think it may be universal per player and they've just said that we're going to set up um you know a thousand yard vision all around or whatever it may be so we'll see and over here wellington's saying i can't see the map it's loading so there's a little bit of, of chat between the special zindos and one of the empires um i followed that for you know marshall uh one of the things that uh, for for your view for our viewers at home is it's not set up on this map i believe but you can actually set it up on foundry so that, let's say, I believe, if, if you're in the Prince of Orange seat, that means you just see a little tiny silver at the top of the map, right? Right. So you can actually set it up where if you're next to a town, it just blocks your line of sight. You just can't see past it. Um, I think the reason we're not dealing with that is because we're trying to... that That's not what we're testing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're just testing, can we run a game with this many players? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Stress in my test. opinion. Yeah, stress test. Mm -hmm. A lot of those for guys work. Uh, the thing about TTS, by the way, that really this is the main reason I think we're, we're considering Foundry, is in TTS there's an artificial limit before you start scripting on how many how many uh, players you can have on a table, which are called mm -hmm. hands. Mm -hmm. Hands are the only pe players that can move pieces, and you can put as many people as you want in a TTS room, but you can only ever have ten hands. Mm -hmm. And so with Foundry, you can have an unlimited amount of empires, you can have an unlimited amount of players. You're really only really limited by how much bandwidth you have and uh, how nice of a computer mm. uh, you're running. Are, uh, are you in uh, Are you in uh, Foundry, Marshall? Yes, I am. Uh, I'm live streaming, and we're just telling everybody out there in the world all about how awesome Foundry is. And then we're going to talk about how awesome I am, and then we might give you a mention. Hey, Blazer. <laughs> <laughs> uh okay the blazers well, I was are tell our you lead to... umpire today master umpire blazer go ahead blazer i was gonna uh alex i'll need you back up in like a couple minutes because we're gonna start resolving things uh, for the first turn uh and i also need to tell uh the rest of the players to split up because uh yeah uh, you'll get your uh 14 15 reports it's essentially it's uh you should be able to see things right marshall yeah i i Everything looks like it's uh, working correctly. The only thing is I'm not in a position where I thought I'm supposed to be, I believe. Uh, I thought I was supposed to be forward deployed, but that may not be the case. Are you? Who are you meant to be? Uh, I'm, I'm the Prince of Orange, but I'm supposed to be with... That's correct, Dutch. actually. That's, that's an error, actually. I'll move you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I'm supposed so to be next like... to Nick, who's the Dutch commander. I am going to have to get used to how the map moves with the right mouse button. Well, the nice there. thing is, oh yeah, the nice thing about it is when we're, you know, once everything's deployed, it's also shout outs to how cool it is to have these, uh, you know, the portraits on our pieces. Yeah. And the, actually, these pieces are yeah. gorgeous. And imagine how it'll look in an American Civil War game where we have actual, you know, photographs. Photographs, yeah. and yeah. I know how to color yeah. photographs now, digitally. So wow, because a lot—I mean, like the big names mostly have uh, nice paintings, but some of them are just like sketches of varying oh, you quality. Oh, see the Jerome one. That's probably yeah. my favorite. Yeah, well, I don't know. The Napoleon one is pretty good. Yeah, Napoleon. Because the picture that yeah. for for our viewers at home, the picture that uh, that actually, you know what? Do you mind? I mean, Napoleon's not in this game. Is he even on the map still? I think I deleted them. Oh, okay, I was gonna say because I might just drag the piece here, Marshall. Will pick some <laughs> it's he picked the brooding one, the the brooding picture that everyone uses for memes. Mm -hmm. I think I uh I think I put it in designing pieces when I made it. Um, we'll give it a look. And I made it one of uh, the Napoleon from uh, Bill and Ted as well, which is kind of funny. <laughs> That's uh, great. 
I think that's, that's I think that's in memes. I'm not sure, but uh, anyway, I've got to go speak to you. All right, thanks, guys. All right, there you have it. So uh, here we are. We're kind of deployed quite forward. In fact, dangerously so. The French are already present on the field. I'll have to generate a report and probably get my tail behind the line. I'm standing in front of my own artillery here. That's not too clever. Um, we got some horse artillery here and we have some regular artillery and the guns do not look like they're in a the best position. I don't know what's going on there, but uh, this is where we're at. This is it. The horse artillery is probably deployed all right. Uh, it's not going to have a clear line of fire over here, but it should have a decent line of fire forward. We have a row of trees here, and then we have what I believe is low terrain here. See how there's water running through here? I believe the shaded areas are depressions in the ground. In fact, I'm certain of it. You see the water. And anything that comes up over this little rise, and I don't know the elevation difference. It probably isn't very great. But anything that comes up over this rise is going to get hammered by uh, these guns. Well, actually, these guns are down in the depression. Well, oh man. Yeah, okay, so this artillery deployment is really messed up. I would have put these guns like right here. Right here. So, yeah. All right, well, we'll work it out. I believe I am co-located with my division commander, so I can speak to him, and I will do so now. Hello, Nick. Hello. I believe we're co-located. I'm pretty sure we can talk. Seems to be on the map. Yeah. So, um, seems that the 6th Division is uh, moving in our direction. The French 6th Division is moving, yeah, is, uh, is facing us. Yeah, I see that. Okay. Our, our battery deployment doesn't look very good. We got one yeah. that's, that's down in a depression. Yeah, I, was, I was thinking to to it, and uh, I think I was thinking to move it on the west. Maybe if it's possible to move in the wood. Yeah, it's, I don't, I don't know, but it needs to move quickly. <laughs> yeah. All right. And then I'll have to send a report back. I don't know if it's it's good if I can send. Are we started? I think we're started. I can send a report. I believe. So I'm gonna I'm gonna send a report immediately back to Wellington. So let's go ahead and get doing this. To Wellington from Prince of Orange. Oh, I need to make sure my. All right. And hello to Dave Pump House on the YouTube. And I don't know what time it is. Just going to put turn one for the moment until somebody gives me a timestamp. Um, and then. is I can't read that let me see if I can read that I don't know G E N
let's hope that dispatch goes. Let's hope that dispatch goes. I don't even know who my umpire is, so I don't know who to tag, but we'll see what happens here. I've noticed uh, that you can see the cursors yeah. mm -hmm. of different people, which is kind of a clue uh, to what they are thinking or doing. So that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. interferes just a little with the fog of war. However, it's probably theoretically possible to do something with that even if the cursors are all named the same thing i don't know if they're given a if they're given a what do you call it um i want to say anonymous but that's not the right word um oh what the heck is it called anyway you give them a name that is you know even if it's just a series of numbers or something yeah, and you can see when they are double clicking. There is a yeah. kind of special effect, and you can see that they are yeah, clicking I, on something. And if I zoom all the way out, I can see. I I like I if I go into the dark, uh, I can see where other yeah, things yeah. are. So mm -hmm. I can see where all the activity is. So that's an, a little bit of an issue. Um, if the cursors are randomized, one of the things that you could say is that the little markers that you see peppering one part of the map or another is really sound or smoke. It's a clue that there's activity over there, but you don't know exactly what the activity is, hmm. which would kind of be historical depending on the scale of the battle. You know, you would hear... You know that there's gunfire especially a lot of it you know half a mile away or something or if there's artillery booming you know so in a way you yep. could argue that sort of mm -hmm. simulates that but for me i think the solution is to zoom in and just stay zoomed in on your circle and don't worry about what's going on outside of your circle so another problem is um well, actually, you cannot hide your units in uh, in woods. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, uh, it seems like we've solved some problems and we've traded traded them for different problems. But again, with Foundry, uh, you can script things, you can program things. Mm -hmm. uh, so. The problem is you have to program the whole map, I think. But once you do that, uh, you can probably hide units in woods and such, and nobody would see them. So they're not at that stage yet. Right now, they're testing, as I was told, they're testing uh, the stress. They're trying to see how many people mm -hmm. they can cram into Foundry and see if it slows down or if it continues to run smoothly. And then I think they'll start tackling some of these other problems. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's already a, a nice achievement. Yeah, it's it's excellent. And they've put a lot of work into it. Yeah. Hey Argos, here's Argos, my dog, which I don't have my camera on so people can't see, but he just came to visit after eating our donuts this morning. He's a big dog, and we uh, had a box of donuts out on the counter, and it looks like he just got right up there and pulled it down and started feasting on it. So, good job, Argos. Good job. We didn't need those donuts anyway. That's not a very healthy breakfast for us. As a dog, you can get away with it. Nobody cares. Hello. 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 Marshal, your orders. Um, I'm gonna. Your right. Yes, I'm gonna.
pull back a little to safety so that I'm not exposed to enemy fire. Uh, otherwise, I don't have any particular orders. But maybe at least move into the woods there to uh, around the position of the second brigade, first battalion of Dutch. Yeah, right there. Second brigade, first. This one. Yes. Yep. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you can see. You can see my mouse. Okay. Duh. Yeah. Yeah, let's move me uh like right here or something. Okay. Actually, can you Got see it. my can you see my cursor? Do I have a cursor? Yes, I can see your cursor. Okay. Oh, see, I just see it as a as a my cursor. I yeah, yeah. See it. I can see like a green thing. Okay. Yeah. Basically, sure. you're trying to get me to imitate a cat and just follow where you're pointing. Yes, follow it like a laser. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay. So that basically, your only orders are move to there. Yeah, move to a position of safety where I can still observe the battlefield. Okay. Right, and that's it. Yep, that's it. I, I, I shall return later. Thank you. If I can find the correct channel. I have sent a dispatch to uh, Wellington. Yeah, not my problem. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, this is my first time on party. I'm just taking orders here. I'll deal okay. with our things later. Yeah, just make sure somebody knows I have a dispatch out. <laughs> That's pretty important. Oh, okay. I've, I'll tell them. Thanks. I shall be back. Okay. Okay, now I'm ready to go to bed. Tired. I didn't go to bed until after midnight last night because I was in Los Angeles. Had to drive home. So. Hello. Hello. Yeah. It's for me. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you can see my uh, mouse cursor uh, on I the. Believe so. Yep. Okay. So. Myself, I want to move um, west of the horse artillery, where I have the, the cursor at the moment. Yep. Yeah. And um, uh, you have this um, artillery, which is behind the horse artillery. It should move forward and take the position of the horse artillery, while the horse artillery is moving to the east of my... Um, of my line, uh, more or less here. Just make, making sure you've been informed. The things highlighted in the dark are depressions in the ground. Depression. Uh, yeah, it's 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 Steiner. Just 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 informing you. Oh, I was thinking it was a hill. Yeah, it's the map is weird. Uh, does it change anything? Oh, sure, it's changing something. <laughs> okay. yeah. yeah, because I was thinking my artillery was in a depression. So, <laughs> okay. Well, um, the, the dark areas are low ground. Yes, correct. Yeah, yeah. So your horse artillery is in a depression. Yeah. Uh, well. So my artillery will, my standard artillery will stay where it is. Oof! Wow, that's really annoying. Um, and uh, yeah, let's move the horse artillery on the right of my uh, my line. Yep, uh, more, sure. more or less here where I have the cursor, if you can see it. Uh, is it all? Uh, do you have any more orders, or is it? Oh uh, yeah, me. Uh, as I told you, I moved to the position of the. Um, of the standard artillery, yes. the foot artillery, let's say. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thanks. Oh, that's annoying because a lot of my infantry is in uh, in depression. Mm. I think I will move it.
Okay. Looks like we had a change here, and I can see a lot more of the map. But we'll yeah, stay zoomed too. in in case yeah, that... And see everything. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll, we'll stay zoomed in in case that's a, yeah. someone hit a button and they just need to fix it. So we won't ruin our fog of war here. Somebody oh, everything here. just moved. Let's go back. I don't know why my view moved. There we go. Fog of War is restored. Although they've inadvertently shown us the French plan, but that's okay. Sorry, I have to just to, to leave the keyboard a few seconds. Okay, thank you, Nick. All right, so let's just see what happens here. Someone hit a button, probably. That's okay. It happens. Try to play fair. And even if you learn information that you're not supposed to know, you really aren't supposed to act upon it. So you don't act upon it. And if you try to act upon it, the umpires are supposed to disregard your orders. So. There is also a cavalry division, l'héritier, who is facing us. Okay. All right, then if there's a cavalry division facing us, uh, we'll go ahead and send a dispatch to Wellington. And that's uh, Il Hirite or whatever? The name, yes, L'Héritier, H-E-R-I-T-I-E-R. -E -E okay. Our start time right. is 1400. I don't know what the turn uh, is, so I'll just put it after 1400. Uh, location, oh, it's, why did it move my view? Uh, my location. Okay, that dispatches out. 
to Wellington, uh, enemy cavalry division present in front of us, El Hurtier, uh, unknown size and strength, we are not yet engaged and continue to hold position. So I don't know how long this luck will hold. They could also be trying to envelop us, so we will see. Yeah. Do we have anything on the flank uh, that will warn us if they are trying to get around the flank? Um, we have um, one unit, one battalion at uh, the farm Grand Pierre Pont. It's uh, to the lower left of the screen. Uh, yeah, of the screenshot. Okay. Hello, Marshall. What are you? Uh, so you can see basically nothing. Okay. Though you believe there's something coming up the road from yourself. Very well. No changes in orders. I do have a dispatch that's to be sent to Wellington. Uh, and I see the time here is 4.15, so I'll edit that really quick. Uh, I wasn't sure what the timestamp was. Now I have it. Okay, done. So, yeah, I just have uh, a dispatch out, and I will continue to hold this position. I'll go and ask what do dispatches in a bit. Uh, where is he? Picton, Picton, Picton. Oh, no. I'm here, Nick. I'm just standing by. I don't think you missed anything. No, no, no. Nothing happened. Yeah. Except that uh, <laughs> I, could, I lost my TV connection. Oh, okay. <laughs> my wife uh, was in... Uh, <laughs> in I despair. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> but it's back. <laughs> Tell her she should play Kriegspiel and she doesn't have to worry <laughs> about the TV. <laughs> yeah. I will tell her. Yeah. <sighs> I need to see uh, Sweet Dreams. I'm tired. My goodness. I can't believe I'm playing this morning, but Special Z Zendos asked me to play, and well, okay. well, I can't sleep all day. Hello. 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 What What would be your orders for this time? U.S. Uh, Nick, right? The second division. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, well, no change at the moment. Maybe I will... Well, I will stay where I am. Um, yeah, no change at the moment. 
Yep, okay. One advantage, though, to taking a nap is it really increases the fog of war experience of playing Kriegsfield. Sorry, you mean with um, uh, with foundry or? Well, with any system, if you fall asleep while you're playing, the fog of war is complete. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Indeed. Yes. <laughs> And are you going to play in the Waterloo game? Uh, are I'm, you already a comment? Yeah, I'm going to be the announcer. Oh, oh, yeah, right. Yes. So I'll be kind of going over the action with everybody, and I'll see the whole map and everything, which will be a little more entertaining. Hmm. Uh, when you play, you can only see your little area. 
normally when I play, we play in Tabletop Simulator, we can see the whole map and I can talk to everybody about what the plan is and, you know, I can plan. Whereas on this, the Fog of War is a lot more substantial. It's probably more boring, though, for the viewers. Looks like we have some units moving into our rear on our flank there. The 9th Division is flanking us. Yeah. I will move a unit to the western border to try to have a some report. All right, let's see here. We do have some commentary on the YouTube. Um, and let's take a look. Alex says, I've heard that Foundry has built in fog of war and it does, it does have to be programmed, but once it's programmed in, then it should work pretty well. The idea is um, maybe we can program, you know, a bunch of maps. It may take us many months to do it. But then as long as we as long as we uh, use the um, same modules or the same maps or whatever that are programmed in, then we don't have to redo the work and the fog of war is is programmed in. So all right. Uh, is that what we're seeing? Yeah, yeah. Uh oh, French to the rear. Yes, they are coming in. Dave asks, can I help commentate? I don't know, Dave. Um, you know, this is a pretty exclusive club, and we, we do have standards. But uh, <laughs> yes, Dave, you would absolutely be a fantastic commentator. It would be amazing to have you on there with us. So I uh, hope that you you can and will join us. It'll be July 15th. Oof, man. Oof, that's got that right.
Charge your spin. Yeah, Dave Austerlitz was pretty fun. Uh, this time, Achilles will be commanding the French, and you and I can commentate. So we'll be reversing the roles. I think Achilles was commentating with you on that one. Good day, gentlemen. Good day. Hey. So, um, as you can see, the French cavalry has advanced against your positions and uh, have deployed in a line facing yours. It seems they are also bringing up artillery. Furthermore, the f two battalions of national militia that has been deployed at farmhouses uh, has finally uh, reported hordes upon hordes of Frenchmen moving around them and uh, that, that's the western one at uh, the Grand Parapet mm -hmm. and the other farmhouse uh, also uh, reports a large movement of Frenchmen to the south and west to the, to the side of and east you mean or uh, the Eastern Farmhouse deploy uh, reports south and western movement, and the Western Farmhouse uh, reports movement all around them. Okay. okay. So you want my order? I guess so. Yep. So um, I want on my... To the west, I have... Um... Uh, I have a third brigade of the second infantry regiment and the second battalion sorry second yeah second battalion of 28 regiment I want them to uh what do you say this uh, switch uh and look to the west against the possible uh, French movement yeah refuse yeah refuse the flank refuse the flank yeah refuse right. west, yeah. Okay, understood yeah uh, and um, to the east, my uh, horse artillery should. Uh, well, can it move? Well, uh, okay, because it's uh, just to, to to understand clearly. Um, can you see my my uh, mouse cursor? Yep. Okay, so this is a depression. Right. So if I put my yes. horse artillery here, yes, it will be able to fire above the depression. Uh, I believe so. Okay. So can you do this? Uh, yep. Okay. Uh, would that be it? That's all for me. Yeah. And what about you, Marshal? Uh, I will continue to hold this position with the second division. Understood. Thank you. Oh, look, it looks like Wellington is here. He's going to be cut off with us. Hmm. Uh, I think we have reinforcements coming, but uh, Wellington <coughs> is not present with us. So he's not in our voice channel. He needs to be back on the main line, though. Sorry, just a question. Do you have uh, some uh, background noise coming from me? Or is it okay? A little bit of television. Okay, sorry, I will mute. Yeah, no worries. It's okay. It's probably a little bit here.
I wonder if we should pull Wellington in with us since he's supposedly here. Uh, yes, we can. We could do it. Where is he? Yeah, he's up above. I'll grab him. Wellington? Yes, hello. Hey, you're you're in here with us, so I pulled you down because we're all together. Um, yeah. Obviously, I... you, you you've been have you been getting my dispatches? Yeah, I got one of your dispatches. I think the other one's going to be on its way soon. I think I haven't sent it yet. Um, I can see that the French have indeed flanked you. I was right, as I always am. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I want you to uh, withdraw from that farm on the left, uh, left of the map, because uh, I think it uh, it's going to it's in danger of getting encircled. So I want you to uh, order uh, your men in that area to uh, withdraw to the Bossu Woods. I think what's going to be our plan is to focus the majority of our uh, defense on Jemyonko itself. Um, I don't know if the other farm on the right will be uh, uh, the farm on the right will be sustainable, but it will only depend on where they direct their attacks in that area. I'm not sure if they'll attack there, uh, but for now, what you need to do is get that infantry out of that farm and are rejoined with their main line so that they don't get encircled and that they're forced to surrender and that we lose about 600 men from a battalion that could be... I think it's already too late. I can see um, French um, infantry moving around uh, Grand Pierre, Pierre Pont. We'll try to get them out, order them to break out. Uh, I think it's too late. Well, fuck. That's okay. We'll just... We'll just go around that. Uh, do you think it's sustainable for you to make an attack to try and relieve them, or do you think it's not necessary? To I risk? have a full uh, division of cuirassiers. Yeah, I see them. They're coming. So, yeah, I think uh, moving in the, no, it's in the plane would be uh, just uh, a pleasure. We would do them. <laughs> Yeah, I think well, all we can do is hold this position. We're refusing our flank. Mm -hmm. We'll yeah, hold yeah. and we'll give them, you know, a round of combat. And then we probably do need to think about yeah. falling back. Um, is the line established on the road? Uh, I think I haven't received anything from Picton yet, but I think he is getting in quickly. Marshall. I've ordered him to go at a quicker pace to the area, so. Marshall, yeah. I'm taking your uh, I'll hold position. Thank you. No, I was wondering if someone had already taken them. Uh, no, but I'm holding position, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Thank you. Great. Back to the subject. Um, I think I've ordered uh, Picton and uh, Alton to go at a faster pace. Basically everyone, really. Um, what I'm hoping is we can get the uh, army in position before the French can continue their flanking move around the Abbasi Woods. Uh, well, we want to buy time, you know. We want yeah. to slow them down so we yeah. can get. To yeah, so. and I think that uh, that uh, the that battalion is going to buy a, a lot of time. They're going to keep at least a brigade pinned down on the, uh, and trying to get that farm. So that's good. That's what we want to do. We want to stall them for as long as possible, no matter the cost. Okay. Um. Uh, in the sense of, I think that's 4's division that's attacking us here. That's 9th division. Yeah, that's 4. Uh, so I want you to try and react to him and to return your line to go deeper into the woods so that he doesn't try to hit you from the rear. Uh, readjust, really. As for Jem Yonkur, we'll uh, wait for what's going to happen there. I don't think they can attack there, but if you can... Uh, if uh, try to get some damage in on uh, that artillery that they just got into position. That so yeah, that okay, yep, mm -hmm. yep, fine. I'll wait for. Uh, I'll probably stay with you because I need to get a proper view of the situation. 
Uh, I'll wait for uh, Cook uh, and uh, Pickton and Alton to arrive. Then I'll make sure that they get into position properly. All right. I've sent three dispatches so far. How many have you received from me? Two. Okay. Yeah, you haven't received the third one, which tells you that we're being flanked from the west. Yeah. It's the enemy oh. sixth, is it? Or ninth? It's the enemy ninth division. Which yeah, that's you know, four. We're, we're refusing. Well, now I know. So we'll we'll find them. Yeah. Good. Uh, this is a big worry, a big worry, uh, but I think we can probably get out of this situation skin free. We'll, we'll be able to get out, get out of it alive, at least. Well, what matters is that we deny the enemy access to the road, so. Yeah. There's going to be a cost associated with that, and we, we're just going to have to pay it. Yeah, that's true. I mean, as long as we hold those crossroads, that's pretty much a victory for us. Uh huh. Yeah. So for now, I can entrust in you to uh, uh, make sure that those French cannot uh, try to keep moving around you, and that you readjust your line further into the woods. Um. I also want you to uh, possibly be thinking about pulling back from the uh, farm on the right. Uh, the right, as in the right of the map. Uh. In case if there are French troops, uh, fr there are French troops coming on them. And yeah, that's it, really. Okay. Let's see what's gonna happen. It's gonna be a difficult game. It's okay. By the way, Marshall, did you get to see the uh, the map? They uh, they had a, like a, a big glitch. You could see like every piece that was uh, some some. <laughs> Yeah, I stayed zoomed in to not ruin the fog of war. Yeah, later. yeah, no, that's good. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, well, I suppose all three of you. Um, you can see Calf uh, has appeared in the depression in front of you, and there's cannons sitting in front of it. It there seems to be an attack going on in the farmhouse to your southwest, and. A lot of units have disappeared on your right. Uh, orders. Marshal first. Uh, no movement for me. I'm going to hold position. I would say to uh, second division commander to say to Nick here that they're trying to probably put you into square so that artillery can fire on you. I don't know if going into square matters or if it's a good idea. Um... If those cuirassiers charge, they'll probably be expended. I don't know how what rules Blazers using. So if they want to charge with the cuirassiers, it might be a fair trade. But anyway, that's all I've got to say. Uh, historically speaking, I believe that the only weakness squares had was artillery and infantry, really. So yeah, you think you're right. Mm -hmm. Um, do you do you need to? Specify that your unit has to be in square, or they can react uh, automatically. I think it's automatically done. S sorry. Right. I think it's done automatically, right? Because I remember when I played, units going to square. I thought you having to specify they have to go in square. You can you if you want them in line or square, you can. You probably want to specify it in this case. Otherwise, they'll do what they're going to do automatically. Okay. So you might not say, uh, if you want them in square, you might not say anything, or you might order them into square. Okay. Okay. And uh, Zendos, your orders? Uh, I'm just going to be staying here. Okay. And that's good. So, yeah, I'm not dealing with that. 
Do you need my my orders or? Uh, I think someone else is getting them. I'll ask. Hello. Hello. Okay, so um, uh, your uh, horse at three, uh, successfully withdraws to the uh, other side of the small stream. And otherwise, uh, your uh, I mean, you, you just hear a lot of uh, sounds of battle. If you may, if you may call it, you might call it that. And yeah. uh, that's that's about it. Do you yeah. have do you have any orders? Yes, sure. Uh, first, uh, enemy cavalry is hidden from me or I can uh, or my artillery can shoot at them I believe they are masked by the hell okay. in front of them yeah so in the my artillery is firing at the enemy artillery yes. um, to the west I want my there is four units to the west my yep. uh, position I really want them to to refuse the line and and you know a turn and um, turn facing the west so redeploy those units to yes. refuse to right okay yep yeah, understood yeah. and to the east um hmm. well I, I want my the two units which are uh, in front it means uh, the one with the orange color and the one with a um, yellow color to form square and well if i understand well because they are in this uh, depression they should not be uh, visible by the enemy artillery yeah. uh, i don't know if the ones in the orchard can form square okay but uh, yeah i'll certainly ask yep thank you thanks Sorry, if I'm not talking, uh, there's a uh, as well. Some guy's having a problem. I know he's a member of the. It's it, it, it's pretty insane, uh, but I won't. I won't tell you that. It's somewhat traumatizing, to be honest. I'll keep it to myself. If anything happens, just ping me and I'll check with you. Okay.
All right, over on the YouTube, I'm asked which battalions I'm commanding. I am not. I'm a corps commander, so I'm commanding 2nd Division, technically, and I think there's a couple of other divisions I'm supposed to be commanding, but they have not yet arrived. And 2nd Division, uh, I don't micromanage. It's not how I operate, so mostly I'm here to observe and make a big decision. Which, for example... Uh, when should we withdraw? Should we hold or should we withdraw? And really, that's the only big decision I think it is uh, yeah. to me, whereas the second division deals with, you know, the terrain and, and other things. So, Marshall? Um, yeah, go uh, ahead. Sorry to interrupt you. Uh, fifth division has crossroads. Uh, I think they're getting into position really soon, so you should be getting ready to withdraw. Okay. Uh, well, if you want to order it, then you order it, or you can leave it. Uh, well, well, I'll wait first. Uh, I've received a dispatch, by the way. Oh, wow. Okay, well, that's bad. What's happening? Yeah, Cook just told me that there's French to the south that have intercepted him. Okay. That's bad. Uh, well, that's... Uh, well, Uxbridge telling me he's on his way to uh, the uh, assigned position, which is good. Hoping Picton and Alton can get here really quickly so that uh, we can try and uh, decide on a new course of action because we are clearly being threatened uh, in the sense that the uh, French are making a far wider attack than I'd have expected them to do so, but that's okay. We'll adapt. Uh, if you'll give me a minute, I need to deal with something, but if anything changes, I think I'll find out. Oh, I can see a, a British cavalry. I think uh, that Oxford has now arrived in uh, closer to his position, which is good. Uh, I might order him to turn around and go face the, uh, the enemy. Because if he, if he can uh, threaten them on their flank, that's probably good. Huh. Well, I just got a new dispatch from him. Guess what I got? He's telling me now that he saw uh, the Count of Pire south of houtain le -Mont. He's basically trying to uh, go around uh, to turn our left to turn the, uh, our right in this sense uh, and he has to uh, turn around and go engage him which is bad everything i hoped would not happen but that's okay we're just gonna have to adapt mm -hmm. all right a lot of situations they're trying to turn our both our flanks <sighs>
Washington. Special Sanders. Can you hear me? Yeah, he he's muted. He may be AFK. Michael's mm -hmm. here for. Hello, Marshall Wellington. Uh, so you are still where you were. Um, you can see the cavalry and the depression is still there. The enemy artillery has been firing, and you can also see that there are more units on your left. Uh, the Two farmhouses are under attack. Who just joined? As you can see, and the one on your right flank is starting to take some damage. Um, orders. Um, no orders from me. Hold position. Okay. Uh, Wellington. Maybe AFK. Or I imagine his orders will be the same, right? Yeah, I actually don't know. Oh, great. So. Uh, I'll wait, I guess. Because I don't actually have to move anything. And uh, no one's sending dispatches, which I love. <laughs> Oh, and by the way, uh, your cannons have caused some damage to the enemy cannons, which I think you can probably see. Okay, thanks. I'm going to get some food if Wellington reappears in the realm of the dead. Then great. I'm back. Was anything said? No. Okay. I'll wait a bit then. We may have to just keep moving uh, to be up to Blazer, but. Mm -hmm. Does Wellington actually have any units directly under him? 
No, he's commander in chief, so it's really just about him commanding his own piece, just like myself. Mm. So. Back. Oh, Zendos is here. Harder. Oh, yeah. I'll stay here. Oh my god, all that weight. Okay. Thank you. Uh, yeah. it, oh, wait, hang on. I need to get to a port again, won't I? Um, Wellington, you can see enemy calf uh, in the depression in front of you. You can also see that their infantry started forming up in front of you too. Their cannons are performing counter-battery to your cannons, however, you seem to have done a better job. To your right, you can see French units have appeared. All infantry. And okay. their two farmhouses are under <laughs> attack on your left and right. Uh, that's it. And you're going to stay where you are. Mm -hmm. Bye. Hello. So, hello. Uh, so it's for me. Yes, yes, it's for you. So, <clears throat> to the west, I really want my um, my four units to to move um, and and give ground and form a, a line, more or less like this. I don't know if you can see my yeah, I can. cursor. You can see. Yep. It's more or less uh, what. 45 degree line angle sorry okay, yeah, i understand yeah uh and to the east uh i know there is a a unit in a farm i think the name of the farm is le rat somewhere um, yes. here if they are not engaged i would like them to to move back uh in front of the horse artillery yes. okay Okay, and um, as explained before, uh, uh, yeah, the foot artillery is. Uh, oh, maybe yeah, foot artillery can now hit uh, enemy infantry. Do you know if it's? Uh... Oh, maybe it's I too mean, far away. It's I too mean... far away. Let's keep uh, doing counter battery for the moment. Sure. And um, yeah, my troops. Um... To the east, the the orange and yellow one should form a square here and here. Okay. Um, I think the one in the orchard cannot. Okay. Which would be the Jaegers. But they cannot because it's orchard or because it's Jaeger. It's uh, it's the orchard, I think. Okay. Uh, so in this case, uh, maybe the Jaeger could move uh, behind, it means north of uh, the infantry regiment number seven, the white um, white piece. Okay. Yep. Yep. Uh, and I think the white piece is in a building, huh, if I'm right. Yes, it's in yeah, a chemical okay. farm. Yep. Uh, okay, so uh, thank you. Oh, and good thank luck. you. All right, yeah, it looks like they're deploying, and it looks like we're tying up probably an entire corps, including a cavalry division. So even though they're moving around us, we've tied up a lot. Picton is deploying. Yeah, here in the center. Uh, I intend to hold until they attack, and then we'll we'll fall back. But if you want us to fall back now or before that, you just have to give the order. Yeah, I know. I don't think you necessarily need to fall back yet. I think you should fall back into the woods, into the woods but still aligned with your battery. To make a more cohesive uh, line uh, as a whole. Um... Uxbridge has informed me he's going to be engaging a, a Pire, as I told you last time. I uh, have no information from him after that, uh, how I hope he's doing well. Oh, I can see their cavalry. It's trying to go around us. 
I think that's cavalry. Yeah, Can you see it? It's on our left. No, I don't see it. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. You can't see it? No. I only oh. see the only oh. cavalry I see are the curiosity. There's a huge cavalry battle going on in the left. Uh, I think that's expert. He just charged them. Okay. All right, that's good. I knew we could count on him to uh, try and be a little more effective in this case. Well, it's good. He's got their cavalry tied up on the uh, left flank, uh, on their left, so that's good. We want to fight so that, oh, well, my, my, my Discord just uh, died. Oh, well, it's bad. Marshall. Yeah. What do you think about this? Uh, I think, do you, I'm not sure what you're asking me other than uh, I think we should hold until they attack. I think we're tying up a disproportionate number of forces. Yeah. And that's make that we're buying important time, critical time for the rest of the army to form its line and defend that road. Um, yeah, I, agree. I would see where we're at with forming that line, and if that line is done or close to being done, then we should pull back. But until that those defenses are ready, we need to probably try to hold this position. All right, that's true. Um, next turn, we'll probably go meet with Picton and see the players on that. Okay. Unless if you want to stay here, I'm not going to force you to come with me. Yeah, I, I, sh I should stay here. Um, but, All right. Well, I mean, it's up to you, though. It really is up to you. I think Nick is also capable of making the decision. Yeah, I know. Um... Uh... You know what? Uh, I'm not saying this as mis uh, as if I'm mistrusting Nick. I'm just saying that it'd be better if you're coordinating this area as well, I'm making sure that everything's going well um, to the north. So I'll probably go check on that, and you can stay here. Okay. Thank you. Just eating and cheek spilling. Um, two favorite activities. Yeah. Yeah. What's worrying for me is that they break through Oxbridge, which I doubt they can. I think Oxbridge has more cavalry than them as a whole. Um I think that if they break through Oxbridge are uh we're not likely to get out of that very easily. But I doubt they will. So I have great confidence in Oxbridge uh, in Oxbridge. I think he's gonna probably uh take them out but with some considerable losses and we'll see yeah mm -hmm. you probably do want to preserve your forces for the big battle <laughs> i wouldn't uh e e even if we lose this battle the victory is in preserving our forces and in yeah, losses on the enemy so yeah that's true I can see Ney is overseeing uh, the deployment of his infantry in the center. Okay, good. Uh, hello. Uh, so, situation. Uh, Sword all has changed. However, it does appear firing has stopped in the farmhouse to your... to the south west. Oh, hello. Hello. Uh, hello, Picton. Uh, Firing is stopped in the foremost to the southwest. Okay. And this, everything else is the same as last turn, apart from the fact you have pulled back on your right flank. And that's it. Orders, Marshal. None. Hold position. Oh, for crying out loud. My job is so boring. <laughs> uh, what about. Where's Wellington? He's here. No, he's not. No, he's not. Oh, okay, not loud, I will kill you. Well, Zandos is, uh, he has disappeared. 
He's missing an action. I, I yeah, he, I think he disconnected. He, well, his his last stated intent was he was going to ride back to his main line, but... Well, um, the, I Where's just, his main line? He's here. I, I just came up to him, so I don't... Hello, know. hello, Wellington. Where do you want to move? Do you want to move? Don't move. I came from the main line. Don't, don't run away. If you have to give a report to General Wellington, I do it quickly. Are you here, Wellington? Yeah. I'm checking he's here. Yeah, he's here. He's just hurried. No, I'm here. I crashed for a bit. Okay, uh, report is um, nothing's really changed except the farmhouse to your southwest. There's no longer any firing from it. Uh, you've pulled back on your right flank, and the French are there. You can see there's been some sort of cav engagement to your northwest. Okay. And Picton's moved up, as you may have noticed. Okay, uh, just a qu uh, question uh, to uh, to uh, Nick. Did you order the uh, infantry to pull back from the uh, our left flank? Uh, yes, from uh, Le Rat, yeah. Yeah, okay, good. Um, my orders are to return to uh, Alton. I hope Picton mm -hmm. will follow me in that since I need to make sure. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, of course, I'll follow. Yeah. I want to make sure how the line is being formed up properly and that everything is being. We've moved. discussed everything. It's being formed. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Artillery good. is gonna. Artillery is gonna be right on the crossroads. My boys okay. are off to the right, and Alton's boys are off to the left. Also, okay. there is a cavalry engagement going on beyond. Yeah. The that yeah, I saw it. The Brits are not really doing good. But... So Wellington, you want to be where Alton is? Okay. Yeah. Uh, also me. I also want to go back. Okay. And Marshall's going to stay where he is. Right. Bye. Thank you. Right, so that's not good at all. What happened here? Yeah, well, the French, as I expected, did indeed flank us. Uh, but they forced... A battalion to surrender in the uh, farm toward the left of the map, which is not good. However, they tied up a good few French troops for the war. Uh, just checking, do any of you know who's playing Alton? Um, Alton, uh, Butter, Butter or something. Butter. Yeah, Butter Gamer or something like Butter that. Gamer. But he's not. He's Can not you in ping his him? position. He's gone for Ping him, I guess. Uh... I'll be right back after face panning and giving up the will to live. Well, Picton, I think we should go check out Uxbridge with uh, Alton once her line is formed up. I, or told him, I told him that he should go and talk to him, so maybe he will. Yeah. Go with him. Yeah, okay, that's good. I'm yeah, very I'm worried. Resider, you want my orders? Um. I, I don't know if I told you. Seventh uh, National Militia have formed square. That's what uh, square means, basically. Uh, token. Okay. And that's about it. Yeah, so, what are your orders? So, <clears throat> uh, my to the west, um, there is this uh, second infantry regiment, and their flank is uh, well open so i really want them to to retreat a little bit so their flank is not open to uh to an attack from the south okay okay um i ask is a jaeger to move behind uh, means north yes uh, uh of the seven if it's possible they, they decided to stay there because it's a better defensive position and cavalry isn't able to reach them there Ah, okay, it's, cool. It's a walled orchard. Okay, cool, cool. In this case, fine. Yeah. And uh, did did I get any answer from the unit which is to the southeast in Le Ra? It's uh, this farm just outside of my yeah. uh, uh, field of vision. I, I know, I know what you mean. Yeah, they have. Uh, well, the courier. <laughs> Or the rider that you sent to get get them mm -hmm. uh, reported that they uh, saw 
masses of French infantry assaulting the farmhouse. So okay. he decided to return. Yep. Okay. Thanks. Yep. That's all for me. Yep. yep. Okay. Thank you. Nick, have you thought about when we want to withdraw? Yeah, I was thinking to start to withdraw because uh, I think once the two farm are uh, taken, broken, they will launch all their force against us. And I can see that we have friendly troops to the north, so I would uh, I would be ready. To, to move, to retreat more to the north, if you agree. Yeah, I think what we do is we go to the rear, put ourselves into reserve, then we can be redeployed. Um, mm -hmm. Just a heads up, we're still deploying in the north. It's only my wing that has arrived in place. How much time do you need? Um, well, they're still moving the units around, I believe, maybe around. One okay, so we stay one more, one more round and then we retreat. Did he say round or hour? Uh, oh. Round. Okay, so 15 more minutes. So if we hold for another 15 minutes, we should be okay. All okay. Right. All right. <clears throat> and then I don't know about the other wing. I don't have any kind of report or anything, but... Cook was held up by the French to the south, which is not good. So do we only have one wing of the army online? We don't have the other wing? Is that the case? Uh, we have Axbridge with us uh, while well, he's uh, currently engaging here. Axbridge is no longer going to be a factor because he will have engaged, so his cavalry will yeah. be good. He seems to be doing well, though. Do we need to fall back and replace Cook in line? That's the, the question here. Uh... Well, I re I don't think you can execute that maneuver just yet. I think Alton could though, and you could replace Alton in line. Uh, Alton's boys are just deploying right now, as we speak. Oh, well, let me check. Oh, you can see it. I uh, I can see them. Well, that's not good. So, the other thought that I had is we hold here for about fifteen more minutes, and then after that we withdraw to the rear. And then we become a reserve that you can put where we yeah. need it. Uh, you know what? That's honestly better. You know what? You can do that. I think I uh, trust in that idea. It's probably best. But I want to check on Cook when I'm done checking. Uh, Marshall, could you detach your artillery to me? Because my column doesn't have any. My wing, at least. So if you mm. wouldn't put the artillery in reserve, that'd be nice. Well, this artillery's in uh, second division, so I don't know that I'm authorized to detach and transfer batteries. That would be up to Wellington to authorize that. Oh, you can do that. You can do that. I'm not against it. Okay. Once you retreat, of course, so you can. I'm confused. Off. We've lost about half our divisional commanders. Where the hell is Alton, and why did he leave? Uh, Alton, uh, Alton is here. Like but a, he's not in the VCs, that's the thing. You can see General, he says he's coming. Excuse me. Okay. And uh, General Cook, I don't know what he's doing. So. We do have a problem well, that there's four of us in one position. If we're all gathered here and we're not with our troops, who's commanding our troops? So. That's true. We, uh, Picton, you know what? You can go back to your troops. What I will do is go check on Uxbridge, and then after that I will go check on Cook. Now we already gave our orders, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. But I mean, next turn. Uh, when I'm d when we are done visiting off and getting a talk uh, a talk with him, we will. Uh, I will go to Uxbridge. Go check up on what's going on. Also, uh, since Wellington is officially sanctioned, my idea here, um, Marshall. Once you're done here, can you send the artillery batteries over to me? Yeah, I'll consult with 2nd Division, and if there's no objection, I would do so. All right, thank you. Okay, that's fine, yeah. 
you're okay with that, Nick? Yeah, you mean the horse artillery? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Okay. All right. Send them the horse artillery. In fact, send it as soon as you feel that you're able. So if you could even do it now, the sooner is better. But, you know, if you want to hang on to it for a minute, then do so. All right, we've been moved. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah, we need to break up these tea parties. I don't know why everybody wants to have a tea party in the middle of a battle. <laughs> All the commanders <laughs> congregate together in one spot, and then nobody's commanding the army. We formed the best plans, but uh, good luck executing them. I am a little bit concerned with the retreat because at the moment I have a good position in a farm, in a orchard. But you when we will start to... the retreat, we will be in the field. Yeah, and that cavalry is going to charge. Um, yeah. Do you want to... I mean, if you want to hold longer... I think this is a pretty good position myself. So Yeah, but if I hold longer, then I am concerned by my eastern flank because uh, there is a French who are storming at the moment uh, the uh, the farm which is a little bit to the southeast and once the farm is taken, they are going to flank me from the east. Yeah, well, we will have to time it, and we probably won't fall back all at once. You'll probably begin falling back. You know, certain units can go, and we can mm -hmm. frog if you know what I mean by that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See you. So, send, like, you know, half back to a, a halfway point, have them hold, and then cover the retreat of the units that are left up front for 15 more minutes. You just leapfrog. Good day. Good day. Uh, as you may have noticed, uh, Wellington and Picton have disappeared. Okay. Um, so you may be able to see that there is quite a lot of French people arriving. Um, they're marching up, continued counter battery, cavalry still where it is. Uh, you can now see that uh, the unit that was guarding the farmhouse to your southwest has in fact surrendered, and the French are moving up. Orders. Okay, that's their attack, Nick. What do you want to do, man? Okay, uh, we say that we stay one more round, if I remember well. Okay. But at the moment, uh, I am a little bit concerned. Um, you, you want the my order or the order of uh, Marshall? Only Marshalls. Only Marshall. Okay. Okay. I I have no particular orders. I'm going to trust what my subordinate chooses to do, whatever that may be. Yeah, okay. Now I need to find pick. Right. Uh, I'll be back later, probably, okay. unless you die. All right, I'll try not to die. Yeah, I'd recommend against it. It's bad for your health. Yeah. Uh, don't. All right, yeah, Nick, if you if you uh, think it's better, because my number one goal is to preserve the force. I don't want us to be spent. But we do need to slow down the enemy. However, we've held this position for 90 minutes. And uh, we, our units are now falling into line. Um, I think our mission here is largely accomplished, and anything we accomplish above this is a bonus. But it's up to you. If you feel yeah, I will start. I will start to, as you say, um, uh, frog leap uh, to the north. Okay. And hopefully, uh, we will not be. Uh, coat in the the plane yeah yeah hi hello hi. Oh, my orders yep okay 
<clears throat> so to the west um there is two blue unit basically it's a 28 regiment so they are going to move to the north um uh, more or less uh, on this line if you can see my uh, my cursor moving okay yeah and um, the three yellow unit next to them it's a second uh, infantry regiment yeah, the hours, yes, hello. yeah they are going to take their place and and, and protect this um, this line here so shorten yeah. line and make yeah, yeah. make a second yeah, yeah. yeah. and to the east um the Orange and green, it's uh, the Jaeger, and uh, I cannot read the, what is it? I think it's number seven for the orange. National militia. Yeah, they will move back uh, more or less to the same line as um, the two blue units. So basically, you will have a kind of offline here, if you see my cursor. Yep, yep, okay. And the horse artillery is sent to Picton. Okay. okay. It's detached, detached, detached to the to Picton. Yeah, that's all for me. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thanks. So hello, how is it going the game so far for you guys? Uh, I'm in good shape. Yeah. yeah, I think we're doing great. Mm, sounds good. And uh, is the French plan working out just like you expected it to, or is it surprising for you guys? I'm pleasant. Was it? Go ahead, Nick. Yeah, I was expecting them to attack. Um, uh, quicker, I mean, uh, earlier, and uh, to try to force our line. Uh, I can see that first they decided to to take the two farms which were on their um, on their flank uh, which give us some uh, some time which is a, a good thing and now the challenge for us is to retreat without being uh, overrun i don't know if you want to add something uh, marshall yeah, personally, I feel that we've uh, exceeded our expectations. And the French are taking their sweet time in pushing us back. Uh, I, I think this is a win for us, at least here where I'm at. I can't speak for how the rest of the army's doing. Um, I am optimistic, however, that the main line will hold and that will preserve our forces while inflicting casualties on the enemy but let's see what happens all right wish you guys all the best and see you soon thank you
Yeah, Dave points out that the turns are swimming by good pace from Blazer, as always. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with uh, the pace of the game. It's not too bad. And look, here comes that cavalry. As predicted, once we fall back, that cavalry is attacking, so... Unfortunately, he's expending his cavalry, the Arm of Decision, against an expendable target. So uh, that's a win for us. It's a net win as long as we put some losses on him. Makes sense. Oops. The cavalry retreating, that's good. Yeah, no, that's excellent, yeah. Hello. Hello. Uh, okay. Um. So stuff happened. Uh. You, you seem to have started pulling back. The French seem to notice this, and uh, me personally leading four units of cav charge straight at your guns. Your guns fired cancer into the faces of the first two, the first line, and broke them. However, the second line followed through and absolutely annihilated your artillery. Um. They have seem to be following up on the charge but you don't know where they're going and they might pull back uh, elsewhere your retreat seems to be going fine and you can see that the units that were previously squared on your right flank the french ones have unsquared and are heading your way orders marshal uh let's fall back to the main line please 
the main line, as in where uh, the let's go back British to the would be. Yeah, let's go back. Uh, to the crossroads of Quatrebra. Okay, yeah. got you. Yeah, that's what. Hang on, I'm not sure if you. But... Yeah, I know where you're talking about. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. uh, if this is in sight, then you might see a ping. Yeah. Can you see that? Yep, Marshall. That's, yeah, that's okay. Where, yep, okay, got gotcha. Thank you. And I'll deal. With, oh no, let dog I deal with you. Uh, I now need to get Wellington. Oh wait, hang on. Uh, slight change. It would appear your cannon surrendered. Uh, D D D Wellington. Hello. Uh, second division, have you given your orders? Hello. Uh, no. You want them now, or you have to provide me with some information? Oh, he hasn't. Okay. Uh, so, uh, large French cavalry charge goes in mm -hmm. uh, with four squadrons of cuirassiers, and uh, although your guns are able to break the first line, the second line goes through and uh, catches the uh, gunners. Okay. Um, so my orders. Um, to the west, uh, you, there is this three yellow uh, yeah, units. Yeah, the units, yes. Yep. So they will retreat behind the two blue units. Behind, okay. Okay. Uh, well, myself, I will uh, retreat also to the um, location where, the, well, where there is this blue unit. Um, there is a orange unit uh, which is uh, being uh, chased by the enemy uh, cuirassier. Yes. Well, they should form the square. Of course. And um, the Jaeger. And the guy in Zenyoncourt, uh, the, the, the infantry regiment seven, white and blue. Yes. Well, they should retreat also uh, towards the uh... French cannoneers. You could give the order to fire regardless, but they're not going to fire uh, on their own initiative. Okay. Um. Then they not shoot them. Um. Can my, uh, uh, my, uh, is this the cavalry? Hello? See, the green, the green people are light infantry. Uh, oh. So they, they are well suited for the shenanigans in the woods, which they're about to deploy in. Uh, everyone else you have is our normal kind of light infantry. Uh, is there any deduction in the forest or? Yep, uh, your troops line in the forest. They move a lot slower because they have to, to straighten up the line as they're moving through the, the, the trees. Some people have to move around trees whilst others will be able to move straight forward. So they are slower, um, but you can instruct your men to move slow enough that they don't sustain much disruption, but it, it's very slow. Okay. Um... Hmm. Uh... I... Yeah, what? If you have, uh, I'll be back in a minute for orders. Uh, if you need time to think, I've got another report and orders to Okay. Collect. Okay. Uh, in a minute. All right, gentlemen, while we're at it, can somebody tell me what just happened with the... Uh... National militia and the Jemion Cool Farm. What just happened? What just happened, Marshall? You got an answer for me? By the way, I can't hear you if you're talking, so you probably need to rejoin. Very calm. I like that. Ah oh, well. Uh, hello? Yeah. 
uh, it, is it good uh, if I uh, put my infantry in the forest for um, your light or your uh, regular? Uh, my light for sure. uh, for for shoot them uh, in the in the side when they come. No, sure. Go go on. Okay, then I say it. I'm waiting for Picton to come back from his rendezvous point with Cook. At the moment, I'm waiting a report from Marshall to understand what the hell just happened with uh, uh, his uh, infantry around Chemo. That's not... Oh, oh well, hello. Gentlemen, uh, Cook has got himself embroiled in some trouble. I knew it. He has deployed himself forward for testing, some reason testing. from your initial instructions and uh, has engaged a single battery and single testing. regiment of French foot. Testing, testing. You, you, you can, you're... Yeah, we can, Hi, we can Marshall. Hear we can hear you. We can hear you. And, uh, Marshall, we can hear you. Yeah, we can hear you. Your, your mic is fine. Okay, I think uh, the players can hear me, but I can't hear them. But now I know why I've come unplugged here. Let's fix this. Anyway, uh, Wellington. Uh, so, okay. and now there is uh, three units of cuirassiers outflanking them. Okay, I'm back. I'm, or I should say I've arrived. Of course, this has to happen at this game. Um, what? Is He's fine. He... He's fine. He's fine so far. I think he's going to be fine. But uh, oh, he will be. he's in quite a pickle, yes. Can you make sure... Uh, well, I can, I, I've already told him I would send a woman. Good. Uh, this is one had a, a hell of a kerfuffle. Marshal, do you mind explaining why I can see French cuirassiers coming towards our position? Yes, because we have withdrawn from that central position. The goal is to pull back behind the crossroads, form as a yeah. reserve. The Where's the rest of your infantry? What's that? Where's the rest of your infantry? It should be falling back. Also, uh, Marshal, I believe I encountered the boys that were holding the farmhouse to the southeast. Okay. Um, they retreated through um, Cook's brigade they're still running yeah yeah we were attacked pretty hard which we expected but we have begun yeah. a withdrawal to and again behind the crossroads we should form it as a reserve and be available for redeployment shortly yeah i think i predicted their strategy quite well they went on the flank uh both flanks even uh and they're making some progress at the moment uh, by the way, speaking now, well, I'm not on the left. Uh, Uxbridge repelled uh, and routed French cavalry on our right flank. Good. Uh, and Foix can't attack because he's under risk of being charged by us, Uxbridge if he does that. So we've pretty much pinned them down in that area. I mean, can't oh, aim the attack on the crossroads. Good. Uh, take the orders there. It's my mistake. Uh, yes, my order is. Um... This light infant, uh, infantry uh, goes here, and uh, this infantry goes here. Yep, so they're proceeding basically as instructed, so they won't take much time to form that because they were expecting to turn left and form a line, so that should be efficient. So I'll, uh, I'll implement that and stack up your, your men behind them, thank you. Um, hello, sorry. Yeah, oh, so did you have, uh, if you had anything else, sorry, go ahead. Um, yes, um, can this be, uh, so, uh, here so, uh, was I saying, um, oh, wait a, wait a minute. He wants them to stand at the edge of the woods here, near, next to Sedlinski. Uh, yes. Ah, uh, okay. And, yeah. Could you just be about to get there? Maybe the the guys on trail will be slightly further behind, but there we go. And I'll follow up the ones behind. Why did the umpire go? For my orders yet, or? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. His orders, I think, but that's about it. Right. 
Uh, the uh, problem of Uxbridge, Uxbridge is currently recovering with his cavalry, uh, but he did rout Pire's cavalry, and he's just waiting for orders. So, we... So we've effectively predicted their strategy, and I think now we just need to react properly. Uh, could right. we say it immediately? I don't think it's uh, that hard to predict this strategy. Sorry? I don't think, well, I mean, this was their only option, really. Yeah, yeah that. that's true. But not exactly, because uh, they, well, historically, the French didn't really just go fully around the Bossier Woods. Plus, it was, it's way harder than you think. So I think that's primarily why they've been delayed a lot. I don't, I don't think anything I just said. No, 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 I know. Uh, well, we will get ready for what will come towards us. Let me see. I get your orders, guys. Hello? Hello? Um, when can I talk to Zelnitsky? Uh, how close do I have to be? Uh, depends on the Empire. Uh, where are you at? What? What, what is your position? Um, by Wellington. Yeah, I don't know uh, what the ruling is. You're kind of on the edge there. You theoretically could do so, but uh, it's up to the umpires. I would ask them if you can speak with him. Okay.
Good evening. Well, afternoon. Hello. Hello. So, uh, where are you? Okay. Uh, Ney has continued with his charge. He is a white Taltanar unit of uh, your men. Boohoo. And uh, is now hiding in the depression to stay out of artillery shot, it would seem. Um, you can't actually see much else. But you do know there's marching going on to yourself. And, hang on. Uh, dee -dee 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 -dee. Your cannons aren't firing at anything. You can't see anything. And that's really it. And is Wellington here, or am I going to have to repeat this ad infinitum? <laughs> we can just tell him. Okay. Uh, Ed, orders? Um, yes, I have orders. Uh, I want to join my men, and I want two regiments from my rear line to go to the south. From These the ones? No, those are not mine. I'll unpick them. Oh, was... these. Yeah, uh, that's the rear line. So on the most right side ones, the ones on the east, just to, uh, like, I'm trying to... Yeah, this one. Yeah, that one and the other one next to it. These two, right, that one. One to the, uh, one to the right, one to the right. Oh, this one. Yeah. Um, they are to go and assist uh, poor Cook here, who's getting outflanked by cavalry. So you want them to move, like, towards Cook? Yes, towards Cook and help him. Uh, the artillery, I wanted to move over by one more. And Hang then on. set up... Where are you? Where, where is Picton? Picton's yeah, here he is, here he is. Oh, okay, got it. So you want, like, these units to move? Yeah. Can you see past this unit or not? Uh, I, no. can see, I can see this one. Okay, but got I'm talking about this one okay. and this one. This one and this one, these two. Okay, go on. Uh, I've taken Picton's order, by the way. And of course, I myself will also go off to the center of my line. Too. Okay, gotcha. Let's see the situation. So these units, no, not that one. <laughs> this one and this one are to assist. Yeah, those two, those two. And then they go off to the gotcha, and then you're going to move towards here. Yes, and I want the artillery, of course, to... Uh, move over by one more unit, you know, see, just replace the unit on the line here. I want it to replace the other one that's in front of it. You want them to switch places? Uh, yeah, basically. Okay, gotcha. Uh, and Wellington? Wellington? I don't have uh, any new orders. I'm going to hold position until directed otherwise. Okay. Uh, see, uh, if Wellington responds, then... Uh, fuck. My mic was muted. Shit. Well, there you go. Oh well, that sucks. That's okay. That's not fair. <laughs> now he'll probably think I just muted it out of light. I didn't to tell him what to do. It's not good. All right. Well, tell us what you want. Those of us who are here, what do you need? Uh, Picton, can your cannons get fired on uh, Ney? Uh, I'm setting them up right now. Um, Good. That man, Justin, better be shot at with every damn gun you have. Commanders of armies have something better to do but the, than to fire at each other, but he's not really the commander of the French army, is he? He's a commander. Exactly. In that case, I see no reason not to fire on. The chat. Good luck. All right. And uh, our battle. The beginning. The big one. Yeah, this is it. I hope Nay gets hit by a canister. Shot just so we can end the game here. 
That would be hilarious, to be honest with you. Hello? Hello. Um, uh, can I send a message uh, to Zeldinsky? Or must I go to him? No, you can send Our gamer, did Mouse get your orders? Or should I get... No, they didn't get my orders. But that's okay, I'm probably gonna stay here. Michael got everyone else's. Nice. Well, I wasn't going to move, so yeah. Uh, well, tell me what you ordered. And uh, I don't have any orders. I'm just gonna stay here. Uh, Alton. Uh, what? What are your orders? Can you repeat it? What are your orders? Ah, uh, so um, um, uh, can these troops there? Mm-hmm. And these troops, um, can they are here or okay, not? You, uh, these aren't yours. These are. So what do you want these to do? Yeah, these, uh, here. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. And can hmm. I send a message to Zeldinsky or, um, uh, I must go to him? Uh, yeah, you can send a message. If you go to your text channel, you can just write dispatch them, and I'll deliver it. Or alternatively, you can go over to him. Okay. So is that it? Mm, what? I've moved them. Is that roughly what you meant? They can't really move anywhere else. Also, you have to watch out because there is cav right in front of you. Uh, can can this year two here or not? Um, uh, okay. Okay. And uh, you want to go to the or do you want to send them dispatch? Um, I want go to them. To okay. Mhm. Mm and my last order is, uh, can these, uh, infantry here, uh, here? Mm -hmm. Nah, it's got to switch stay in a bit. Um, and you're going to move to the city to ski. Uh, thank you. Thank you. So yeah, Marshall, seems like you guys have uh, worked pretty well on your position early into the game and looks good for you guys.
Yeah, our line seems to be holding. We delayed them in the center. And now we have a, another line established. I'm trying to, I hope we can get some kind of a reserve organized. Because we will need a reserve when that French attack comes. Uh, without a reserve, I don't think we'll be able to hold the line. But otherwise, uh, I think we have done well and we are in good shape. That's just my take on it. Yeah, the, the coordination you guys are showing on your team is excellent. Thank you. All right, I'm back. Has we have we received any reports or? Uh... Is Nate being shot? Or did Ray just move to a Nate? <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, you guys are in uh, quite a surprise about Nate once the game ends. So. Did Nate die? I can't reveal all that, but I just have to say it's uh, it's chaotic. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> While I'm here just sitting at my post, I just ordered a bunch of cannons to fire on the guy. Poor man. <laughs> if I capture him, I'm going to uh, spare him from death. Yeah, basically... Uh... The terrain has a big effect right now on the battle, especially when it comes to Nate's position, I think. That's what yeah, <laughs> no, he's not a good, in a good position. Think about it. Uh, well, it depends on what's, he's, um, what's gonna happen after we, he, he realizes what kind of a position he's in. I think he knows. He just hasn't done anything to uh, change that. Hmm. And now we are waiting. Who just joined? Yeah, it was Michael. Hi, Michael. How are you doing? Um. Okay. For um, nothing much seems to have changed. I was still where it is. Um. You can see that there are units moving up to yourself. Okay. And that's it. Orders. Have uh, the cannons begun firing yet? Or... Um, I'm not sure if they're in range, but you can order them to. But I don't think there are cannons. No, there's cannons at the front of... Oh, yeah, no, they can... These ones can't hit me, and neither can these, but... That one might be able to hit. 
Bam. Okay, uh, what about the uh, troops to our uh, south? Have they uh, fired? Can they even hit uh, the uh, French tr uh, French cavalry? Uh, maybe. Um, I don't think so, though. Um, uh, Marshall, have you got any orders? Negative. Uh, just holding here, and I hope that, again, we can get some kind of reserve formed, which we're going to need if we want to win. Okay. I uh, know. I need to find Picton. Uh, I'm really hoping that Cope hasn't gone himself into an absolute rout. I hope he's been able to hold his position, because if he can't... Yeah, and the pieces in this game are like very unique. They have all kinds of decorations on top of them. Wellington typing away. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. I just hit my elbow on the air.
I've been talking by Battle Gamer. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Um, um, can I make orders anytime or? Uh, nope. So I've received your orders, so um, that's me process them. The exception is if, if I have, through my own stupidity, messed anything up, then I might I might hear changes. But aside from that, the orders you gave just then are the orders that have been implemented. Oh, wow. Nay just routed. What the hell just happened? Uh, I can make any orders. Uh, not at the moment, but new reports are imminent. So whenever I come in and, and describe the situation, um, that's a trigger for you being able to give orders. But once you've given them, you have to wait till the next report before you can uh, issue new orders. In the meantime, your troops do react. If something unexpected happens, they will react to it if they can. Okay. Well, it looks like we're having another tea party. Uh, Nick should probably be added to the channel. Um, yeah, uh, Nate just got routed. Yeah, well, we need to get a status report on his units and if his units are capable. Um, if they have suffered, they probably need rest and reorganization for a little while. Uh, but I recommend we just put them in reserve here and then send them where we need them. But yeah, they do need to rest and recover. It looks to me like the French are, if they're attacking, they're not attacking this crossroads very well. Um, yeah. Although they do have infantry coming up through the woods, but maybe we can hold them. Wellington? Uh, I'm fairly certain. Very calm, actually. The fact we routed their own commander and forced him back in disorder, I think that's about enough to tell me that we've got a good chance here and that if we organize the rest of our army and um, we stabilize the situation on our left, not for Uxbridges, on our actual left, I think we have a very good chance of winning this game. Most importantly, I think we have a great chance of doing it without so many casualties. So I will note that Jerome is in a position to now attack Alton's division. And once he does that, the casualties will be heavy. So I'm expecting um, a grand comeback from them. Uh, but if they break through outside of the forest, we'll just stop them with Uxbridge. So I don't think there's a great panic here that we... Uh, um, there's, not, there's no great panic. We're doing great, I think. Good. Yeah, I think we're doing okay, but there's always something out there that you miss, it feels like. I've always felt in the past that when I'm doing well and I'm winning that there's something awful happening and I'm missing it and I'm actually losing. I just feel like that's <laughs> Yeah. That's uh that's the thing. Well, keep keep an eye on your flanks, um, because that's if they're having any success it could be there. Uh, if we're not getting reports from the flanks, we need to be concerned about that. Oh, personally, I have no great concern for Uxbridge's uh, flank. I think he's doing great. He hasn't moved any uh, moved any of his cavalry yet, so I don't think he's being attacked or anything like that. Uh, I will send him a dispatch, though, within the th this turn, and I will go see what's going on with Picton, just to make sure he's not being attacked. Okay. You want to come with me? Uh, it's uh, I'm yours to command. Yeah, it's up to you. Sure, why not? You know what? You can come. Okay. I will get the dispatch off to a person. Fast acting. It's been a hours that we've been fighting now it's a 1630 already so i think the battle ends around uh oh i i think i've got a dispatch huh i've received a dispatch from uxbridge Sir, the hour is 16.15. I saw French, uh, I see French cavalry moving to my left at the border of the town. 
Uh, I think he's referring to uh, Houtan Lemo. Let me check the map. I think that is what he is referring to. Hello, I'm hi. Uh, so the and try to find you on the map. Right, <clears throat> you can see the French infantry is moving up for the forest to yourself. Uh, Picton seemed to have a quick go and attempt to like shoot at the French calf. It sort of worked. One calf is routed. However, he did lose one of his infantry in the process. Um. You can't really see what else is going on. There's a lot of heavy gunfire on the south east east of you. Like very heavy gunfire. And uh that's it. Orders. Uh I'm taking orders from all three of you by the way. So Marshall, I assume you're gonna stay where you are. Uh, I'm gonna go wherever Wellington goes. I'm gonna follow him. Yeah. Okay, Wellington, where are you yeah. going? Uh, I'm going to go find a Picton and inspect it. Okay, line. hang on, let me do some distancey stuff. And, uh, Butter Gamer, what are you doing? Um, I do. Um, my infantry here. Yep. Uh, that be here. Okay, got gotcha. And this here okay, uh, cool. and this here here in the middle uh, let's see what fit. Uh, so you want that one in the middle yes okay and then uh, anything else hang on I'll just move this for some and, purposes of looking uh, can can this artillery uh, fire on uh, yeah I'll do this that here? I'm sure it can. Oh. Is this effective? Uh, I'm not sure because there is a forest, but I can find it. Um, okay. Uh, can this two artillery fire on this, on the on Jerome here? Uh, yeah, they can probably hit him, but it probably uh, won't do much. Then. What is uh when uh when the general is dead? Uh, then the player is just dead. That's a. Uh, though it's kind of. Unlikely that you'll hit one dude on a horse. Okay. Then uh, one artillery fire on this and one on this. Okay, gotcha. And uh, Wellington's moving there. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Michael Mouse, uh, I have a question before you head off. What was Nate trying to do? Uh, from I don't know. I, I'm not dealing with Nate. Yeah. I imagine he's going for the guns, though. Well, that failed horribly. Uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> you're not as <laughs> are you? Uh, uh, is that it? No, yeah, that's it. You can go. Uh, okay, I'll uh, hang on, I'll just check something before I do that. Uh, DDD, -D. I'm here for second division. Yes. Uh, is that okay? D -D -D. Uh, by the way, you won't be picked in this turn. Okay. That's uh, fine. I'll move you to another channel. Uh, and Marshall's going with you. Yeah. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, okay. So, uh, your... Uh, your units have been... Alright, so this is one hell of a situation that we're in, Marshall. Uh, if we're lucky, we'll be able to hold off Nay till the end of the day, um, as darkness is falling. Uh, if we're unlucky, we'll be able to withdraw with our force mostly intact, which is what I'm hoping for, but I, then again, I don't want to wish for us to be unlucky, mm -hmm. necessarily. Uh, I hope that we can, uh... Well, let's hold for now. It looks like they are smashing themselves up. Um, if oh, he's going for the guns! Wow. Okay. He's insane. Uh, well. 
That is Justin for you. <laughs> yeah. That's insane. Wow. He is really going for those guns. He's risking himself right now. He knows that, right? Yeah, that's okay. Never interrupt your enemy when he's making a mistake. <laughs> well, that was, that, that's what Napoleon said at Austerlitz. Yep. Sure, no, sure enough, he was right. Uh, well, I'm hoping really that uh, Picton can hold his flank. Because I don't think they'll be able to make a proper attack. So, Ney's uh, charge is just absolutely insane. I, he really is Ney. <laughs> He's just doing a rip-off of Waterloo right now, if you're asking me. <laughs> Charging like a mad lad. Well, How okay. yeah, we'll see. How have you been doing? How was your trip? Oh, it was uh, fine. It was fast. It was tiring. I'm exhausted. I'm had a hard time staying awake all day. Yeah, I see that. It's kind of uh, visible on your voice. Is it what? No, it's uh, you can hear it from your voice. Hear That's voice. okay. We're going to gonna yeah. win. So you can sleep knowing that you've defeated the French well, this day. The development of that reserve. We need that reserve, though, because they yeah. probably have enough power to punch through it at one point, and if they do, we need to put in that reserve. Yeah, I agree. So, I do know that we outnumber them, however. Uh, uh, Nays, uh, what we know from intelligence... Uh, intelligence as in like actual scouting reports that Wellington knew of. Uh, race corps is between the 20,000 marker. We have around 33,000 men. That's, I checked his numbers at this battle, so. Uh, his as in my name. Uh, Wellington has around 33,000 men in this area during the battle. Uh, from what the uh, Allies knew, uh, race corps was around uh, at least within the uh, 20,000 or so. Oh, well, Nate just got routed. <laughs> Rest in peace, Nate. Oh, wow. Well, maybe they'll, in the, maybe they'll call the game here soon. Wow, that's insane. Picton is just mad lad. Well, that's good. Uh, Let's just hope uh, that Picton can reorganize his line and get uh, his gaps filled up, because he's got a lot of them. Yeah, I think he's doing that right now, which is good. Good, good. Yeah, your subordinates are doing what they should. Yeah. I'm glad I got good subordinates, because, you know, if I didn't have those, I'd be dead by now. <laughs> you can't really win without good subordinates. I think, though, my current interest is once we find out how Picton is doing, that we want to find... What the hell? Why did this Spock just spawn in? Whatever. Uh, I think that as soon as we find out what's going on with Picton, we need to go check on Cook. Because if he's not doing well, our flank could be collapsing at this point. Yes, that's something you need to do, and one of the things you can do is you can send me to check on one while you check on the other. Us riding together is diminishing your command power by half. Yeah, uh, that's true. What did you say you were uh, sending me to check on who? I didn't hear that since you were. Oh, I was just saying that you should send me to check on one and you check on the other. Because yeah. Because what you're doing is you're... By having us ride together to check the line, we're essentially having our command power. So by splitting us up, then we, you know, it's just more efficient. Okay, then you know what? Uh, this turn, when the umpires come in, I want you to do this. You want, you will want to go to uh, find Uxbridge. Um, okay. I want you to go 
check on his status, then report it back to me by dispatch. Mm -hmm. uh, I will go check on Picton and Cook and assure that our flank hasn't collapsed. Okay, good luck. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah see, I see a refused unit down there at with Picton, so I would be very... Not a good sign. Be, yeah, that means the French are, are not too far away. Yeah, and Cook has his uh, cursor focused on uh, just about ahead of Picton. That's not really good. Well, we don't know what that means, and we should ignore those things when we see them. But yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Don't ruin the fog that, of war. That refused flank, which we can see, and yeah, you'll have to handle it. That's so. Yeah, I'll go find out and coordinate what's going on in that area. Go Just remember, on. the mission seems to be to hold the crossroads. So even if they are outflanking us, if we're, they're not, really, if we're not in danger of being surrounded, they can outflank all day, and it doesn't mean anything. That's true. You're so right. We got to hold that crossroads and keep them off that road that goes to the rear. And if we can manage that, then we're okay. Yeah, I agree. Uh, you want to make sure that they don't Castiglione us in this case. Because if they do that, that's, yeah, that's not really good. So you, you will go check on Oxbridge. I will go uh, to Picton and Cook. Okay, we will do. All right, good. Oh yeah, Marshall, I have to say that despite your, uh, how tired you seem, you've been performing really well and I want you to keep that up. Glad you joined me because I needed a good core command, core level command. Well, well thank you. I, I said I would, so here I am. <laughs> yeah, good uh, man of your word. Yeah, uh, well... I just gotta hope there's more panic with Nay that there is with us. Well, that's not good. Can you see it? Yep. That's not good. No. They are really breaking through our flank. Okay. That's bad. That's really bad. We have to hope that Cook at least damaged them enough for Pick uh, for Picton to hold the line. Oh no. As long as Picton can hold them off, I'm confident. But like he, Cook, I think just got routed. I can see him, he's running away. Okay. Oh, uh, well, well, I'm happy, however, that the attack uh, from Ney has been repulsed. I think that's good progress. If they can't take the center, the center, they won't be reinforced on the flank, or, and we can commit our reserves to everybody, if needed. I just told 2nd Division uh, to try to reform and recover as best they can uh, because okay. there'll be a, re a reserve and mm -hmm. they may be needed to reinforce somewhere. Okay. That's fine by me. I think Picton and... Uh... Cook our meeting. Okay. What I don't like too much about the fog of war in Foundry um, is that it doesn't cover terrain as much. Like you can see all the woods and stuff like that. It's a really big. 
Yeah, they have to pro it, program that in, but once they do that, yeah. you won't see through the woods. Yeah. So right uh, now, though, that's not the test. Right now, this is sort of a stress test and familiarize umpires with how it works and how to use it. Yeah. And pretty it's soon, good. it'll it'll be dialed in. So they're, they're yeah. doing a lot of testing here. I'm hoping I won't be in the same position as Justin during the actual Waterloo game, because I'm trying to get uh, Michel Ney as he's the wing commander for the Blacks. So. so you're going to be an umpire for Grand Waterloo? Uh, the announcer. Oh, you're going to be the commentator. Yeah, and it looks... Uh, hey, guys. Uh... Uh, de -de 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 uh, you're heading towards Picton. I assume your orders will be to go to Picton. Uh, report wise, you can see Nay's cab, which somehow seems to be still around, though it is routing. There seems to be French infantry firing to your southwest. Uh, that's kind of it. Okay. Uh, orders. Uh,. I will go find uh, Picton and Cook uh, mm -hmm. and go join them. That's it. And Marshall, will you follow Wellington? I will go what? to Uxbridge in the west. I will find Uxbridge and I will uh, join them. Okay, you're not going to get there this time, by the way. That's fine. I'll just make my move. Okay, I'll move you guys then. So, uh... On your way, about halfway to Alton, do you want to stop with him, Marshall? No, it's not my order. I'm going to Uxbridge. Okay, so you're just going to kind of ignore him as you walk past? Gotcha. Well, I'll salute him. I'll acknowledge him, but I'm not going to stop. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> Okay. Move to uh, bed two, let's see. Oof, okay. Well now It seems opening a new tab in my browser disrupts Foundry for a moment, but we are back to where we need to be. And yeah, it looks like the main attack is happening right here. It's a pretty big attack, and we'll see if we can hold. Uh, hopefully, uh, second division is going to turn around and pitch in or form a rear guard so that if these units do break, they can they can.
can uh, form a line and hold. I think the French are probably going to punch through. And if they do, then the order from Wellington needs to be to withdraw to preserve the army. However, let's see what happens. The French do, in fact, have to fight and get through. And they are fighting better units here. So we'll see. Hey, Marshall. People at home. Hello, Alex. You enjoying your experience? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I'm very pleased with it. Uh, I'm excited to see some tweaks, like the introduction of proper fog of war. Uh, yeah. Seeing the hands move around is something we need to think about. Oh, um, there's a mod that disables. There's an update recently that messed up, but we do have a mod that, that makes it so you don't see the, the cursors. Oh, even better. Even better. Yeah, so oh, nice. it, this is a, a pretty cool thing. Uh, it seems to be moving uh, relatively quickly enough. One to one. Yeah, so. Yeah, right? I'm, I'm, uh, I'm pretty pleased with it. I am doing better than I expected, to be honest. I haven't empowered a good game like this in like a year. Yeah, that's my next thing. Is next time we play, I'll probably umpire to build familiarity with that end of it. I wanted to do it once as a player and just kind of experience it, and now it's time. It'll be time for me to try I'll it. I'll make as an sure umpire. your player's not back in the umpire choice. Yeah. Is uh, all right. Well, how are you feeling about uh, the battle from your position? Well, uh, I feel like we're about to have to withdraw, but we do need to satisfy the conditions of honor and try to hold at first <laughs> so we need to give uh the french some volleys but we can't just turn I, around and run away from the marshal perspective what is happening right now in the battle uh well the the main french attack is now coming just west of the crossroads there's also a flank attack which is probably intended to draw off reserves but the main attack is here at the center i don't know that we'll be able to hold but we do need to try and uh, yeah the, so the French 6th Division is coming in pretty deep and uh, we probably won't hold and then once we no longer hold we do need to withdraw to preserve the, the army but we'll see if we get That's lucky cool. if we get lucky and we hold we just we just stay right here you know But I know that the French are coming around on our left flank, their right flank, and uh, their numbers there are pretty good. And yeah, I'm not sure that we're going to hold the line at all. Uh, you know, you know, you know how it is, Marshall. The best part about playing umpire is seeing all the. Chaos yeah. and thinking, yeah. oh, what's this player's thing? I gotta go back to Empire. Alright, good luck, Alex. <laughs> Thank you, man. Whee! Yeah, I'm just exhausted, everyone. I'm tired. My daughter graduated with her master's degree yesterday, so I had to go down to Long Beach is where the graduation ceremony was. And so I was down there and then didn't get home until midnight, which is back on the Central Coast. So it's about a three hour drive back because there really wasn't much traffic, which was nice. But the consequence of that is I'm just freaking exhausted. Got up to play Kriegsville, so I probably got about five or six hours of sleep. Had a cup of coffee, but I'm I'm just tired. I'm getting hungry too, so I haven't ate in a while. So I've had issues with my headset, uh, where I've got this wireless Bluetooth headset, but it's not working right. So I've wired it into my Yeti mic. Um, I don't know what's going on. Probably a driver compatibility issue, but. I would go downstairs and make myself something to eat, which would make me a lot happier, but I can't do it and stay in the game because I can't. I'm, I'm hardwired into my computer. 
to communicate. Looking at what's happening with the French here, they're coming uh, in some depth. It looks like Uxbridge is withdrawing. So he's falling back and the French are, fall are coming in. And I do think we're very close to saying, hey, we need to fall back. They have some fresh units here. It looks like 9th Division is in good shape. 6th Division appears to be uh, Spinter. They're doing attack columns or something. Uh, I don't think we'll hold here in the center. Um, but let's see. Let's see. We have to... We've got, you know, a couple battalions, a few battalions that are relatively in good shape here, and a couple. We've got several battalions in good shape. The front line is having a hard time. Uh, Alton needs to give, an, you know, a good order to reinforce or whatever. He needs to get these guys here, the 30th foot up on line. I don't know. Uxbridge might be might be all spent. He, um, if he can't hold, which he's got light cavalry, I don't know that they can dismount and fight. But what he might need to do is, if he's got any cavalry in any kind of condition, try to threaten the enemy flank and distract them or slow them down. But we'll see when we get there. We'll get a report. But yeah, it looks like 9th Division is actually probably going to get through here. I don't know what these icons represent here. The hooded figures, the shadow looking hooded figures. Those could be some sort of dice or uh, something they're using to resolve turns. Um, so there could be some something there that we're not seeing. It's not necessarily pieces or units. Could be, but I don't know. So, Marshall, let me guess, you want to move to Oxbridge still? Yes. Uh, no? yep. Let me check. Uh, your report is, you can see a lot of French coming up from the south. Quite a lot of French. Uh, you can hear the sound of marching. There's still firing going over on your west. And that's it. I shall move you over to Oxbridge now. Thank you. Uh, okay, uh, I'll move you to Oxbridge's channel in a minute. Uh, actually, I'll just move you now. Red 10. Uh, two minutes. Oh, hello. Hello, General uh, Uxbridge. Yeah, so what are you waiting <coughs> hey, doesn't have a mic, just... Uh... Look in the... Yeah, I've been sent to uh, get a status report from you. Can you, what can you report to me? General Uxbridge, are you with me? Well, we're not. It seems like we're having a communication issue. Uh, I'm not sure it's on my end. I might appear to be hearing okay. And Xbridge is not lighting up. He may be muted. I don't know. He's just disconnected. He might be. I think he's having an audio issue. But we'll get it worked out. Uh, 
Uh, General Uxbridge, uh, are you able to unmute? Uh, yeah, I'm not hearing anything from you. Your icon shows that you're muted. Uh, I don't know at what level you're muted, if it's a uh, at the software level or if your mic is muted. Um, in any case, though, I'm hoping that you can hear me. And it looks like we're not necessarily going to hold in the center, but we do need to threaten the enemy so that he stops his attack. Oh, hear me now? Yeah, I hear you now. Are you there? Yeah, you good? So th there's a, uh, a situation developing. I see the committed Tyree. His uh, cavalry is uh, trying to go to our flank from the, from the town here, I believe. I routed some of his... Uh, I've routed some of his uh, cheshires. The lancers are still around here. I've redeployed my heavy cavalry to face the new threat because I believe he's trying to go to the town or he's trying to go across the town to hit our flank. And I believe that they've considered that to be their main thrust on the left here. Okay, yeah, I believe that they are attacking their, their Schwerpunkt is towards the crossroads. Uh, the ninth division that you see is the unit that is of greatest concern to us. We need to slow them down or stop them. And one way to do that is to threaten their flank. So, um, I know that you're busy trying to block, uh, puree there or whatever. Um, but you may have to divide some forces. I think it looks to me that he's got about three chasseurs, so a few cuirassiers ought to help block them. You think I should do like uh, divided by like three here because I have like uh, six units of heavy cavalry, so I send three over there to uh, neuter his advance, and then I send three south to threaten the flank of the yeah of the, uh, the infantry, infantry. yeah that's fine that's fine yeah and then um how are yeah. your how are your damaged units doing are they able to recover and do anything or are they just are they just kind of spent and they're out uh three of my units three of my light uh, calves have routed i have one light calf here that's uh anchoring the the road I believe, and then it's, uh, I mean, I've t ordered them to support your un uh, the units to the right of me. Uh, I have four, one, two, three, yeah, four light cavalry that's going to recover soon. So I feel like I'm going to send out the first thrust of my attack will then be the heavy cavalry. I will break the, the, lan the lancer here, and then I will swing around, hopefully, and... Uh, whoa, whoa, they're advancing here. Yeah, uh, you don't have to kill them. You just have to threaten them, force them into square or something so they're slow. The infantry and the yeah, artillery I'll can do to... the killing. Okay. I'll uh, try to do that. Uh, so for the GM, my orders are three of my heavy cavalry here is to go swing and block uh, Perry's uh, attempted flanking maneuver. And okay. I can see like some of his yeah, yeah, three of them and over there. Three? Yeah, the other three are to go swing south here. Uh, they are to break the the, the spent uh, lancers there. They're to avoid directly attacking the infantry, but they are to uh, break the the lancers. Like the two of our my two of my heavy cavalry here. And what They're about the rest of the, the division? Huh? Uh, uh, what about the rest of the division? So I want my uh, light cavalry here to recover. I think they're going to recover soon, right? Yes, if yeah, if if they are able to remain stationary, they should. Yeah, be able I mean, to... stationary. I, I think I believe I should be able to get them to act soon. Uh, okay. I want. Uh, let me see here. My, I want my the two heavy cavalry here, like the. I want them to break the lancers, and then I want my other heavy cavalry. Uh, to be uh, going 
you see like the the gap here at yes, uh, yes. let's see. do you see uh, like the, the little gap here like with the two cores for the, the ninth division second brigade i wanted to harass this like i, I wanted to like move slowly here and then i i want so them to like i want the toward that area yeah yeah i want them to go towards that area i want the yeah, understood the french to like square up and if they do so, I, I don't want to go in range of them, but I just want them to, you know, harass their flank here. And then hopefully my light infantry will be, uh, will recover soon. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Well, I hope uh, the attack develops correctly. Yeah, let's see what happens. You know, the enemy does get a say, but if you communicate your intent, uh, hopefully the umpires can... Uh, execute that intent correctly, and then uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully it goes very well. I am going to step away from the microphone for about five minutes or so. In the event that an umpire comes in here, uh, I'm basically going to probably fall back to the road, but more or less hold position. So I can just observe the attack as it develops. Um, otherwise, I have no actual orders. Got it. Thank you.
Hello there. Hello. Uh, you have your cavalry has successfully uh, charged uh, enemy lances, and they've been uh, righted. Although your yeah. other cavalry squadron that wasn't so effective, and it seems the enemy infantry moves on, undisrupted. Right. What, what, what is and, uh, sorry, what? Well, like the uh, the enemy, the, the cavalry, I said, to the infantry, were they shot at? No. Oh, but they still have like a fatigue there. What? Yeah, because uh. If you see this one here, like yes. it has a fire mark on it. I mean, I didn't see it. The might. W was it attacked or something? I'm not sure how it got that because I didn't order it to charge or anything. I, I just didn't see the marker. Oh, let me just show that to you. Uh, I'll, put, I'll post it in the uh, chat. There we go. Uh, yep. Uh, it has like the, the fire marker here. And I am returned in case. Uh... Oh, I just don't see the markers. Okay. Oh, well, then the enemy cavalry did form square, and your units were. I mean, your units were successful, but they also were. Uh, beaten back. I mean, like, spent somewhat. Uh, but yeah, your uh, light cavalry, five squadrons of them, are now ready for uh, action again. Yeah, I see that. So, what are your orders? So, hmm, I'm, asking, I'm gonna ask my superior here. Do you think I should try to deploy them to like the little gaps that the enemy has? And try to make them form squares that way or yeah absolutely by time so just threaten them don't necessarily attack so stay out of musket range but threaten so that they're forced to go into square and they can't continue their attack if they do not form square then i would charge them if you can from the flank or the rear even so if they don't form square if they continue then then yeah you're gonna just harvest them you're gonna take them no, I guess so. So I'm going to withdraw the spent uh, heavy infantry, heavy heavy cavalry back, and then I'm going to move forward my light cavalry, and then I I don't want them to go anywhere near like a range for the for the muskets for the uh, the enemy infantry, but I want them to like basically go and like harass them at the back and then make make them square up so that that's possible. Okay. And I want them, I want them to do that, and then in case where like if if a cavalry officer sees that you know the enemy has refused to form square and then there is a clear path directly into their flank or their rear uh give them the initiative to charge yep and uh the the three heavy cavalry to my right here i want them to keep an eye on the uh the flanking maneuver by the chest here yes okay, uh, I, okay thank you Uh, Marshall, I think... hello. Uh, I see you've already uh... got a report of what's going on. Uh, do, do you have any orders? Uh, yeah, let's ride back to the center um, and ultimately back to Wellington, please. Okay. Uh, do you want to stop at Alton on the way or do you want to just head straight to Wellington? No, but I, I mean, obviously I want to have a look, but no, straight to Wellington. Okay, well, you're going to see what's going on roughly. Oh, uh, <laughs> sounds ominous. I hope everything's going good around there. Oh, he's going to love it. <laughs> and move to red fire. I'll, go Actually, I'll, I'll just go locate you, Alton, anyway. All right. Where is he? Uh, Alton is red one. I like the fact everyone apart from Wellington is currently red one. Guns back, and then they'll go jump on the guns and start shooting um, again. When I fight them back and uh, the, the, uh, the French army fall back, can I have uh, the artillery back? 
Oh, yep, no. absolutely. Um, if the French oh. don't manage to spike the guns or anything like that, you, the guns are there, the crews have just uh, run away. But they okay. are ready to remount. So yeah, you're correct. And yes, uh, they go here and they go here. Uh, these um, infantry shoot them. Got it. So this they're going to... Is they in the range? Yes. Yeah, yes. definitely. They're in effective range. That whole line's in, in decent range. Okay. Um, yes, this and I, um, my character, go here. Okay. All right, thank you very much. Okay. Uh, have you given your orders? Yes. Okay. Thank you. So, <clears throat> the two blue units. Yes. They will move. Uh, in direction of the southwest to counterattack in the woods. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Understood. Um, this blue unit, this blue and orange unit, is uh, disorganized. Or can I use it? Uh, it's disorganized. Okay. Um, and uh, well, I want my three green and yellow units. Here, yes, to move a little bit on the right. So, you want them to shift, uh, yeah, to the southeast a little bit, yes, yeah, okay, understood. That's uh, all for me, it? yep, thank yeah. you. That's all. Hi, Marshall. Hello, everyone. Hello. So, um, seems we are facing the 6th and 9th French uh, Infantry Division. Um, yeah, I on, uh, on the western side, I think it's going well at the moment. But in the center, in the woods, they are putting a lot of pressure. Yes, that's the main attack. Hmm. That's the main attack. That's the short part. I don't know what's happening to the east. We heard it was also difficult. Well, they're trying Marsha? to flank us, but yes, go ahead. Um, where are you, troops? Where? Are your troops? I'm the court commander. I command various divisions. I don't command uh, oh. troops themselves. I'm actually on my way back to Wellington in the east. So in the okay. West, um, there is some pressure, but we're trying to slow them down by distracting them with the cavalry, trying to get them to form squares and stop. So if you hold this position, I think we may win the battle. If this position should fail, then we'll have to withdraw. Okay. Uh, do you think we win the battle or have your tips? I think we're winning at this moment, but... We are under heavy pressure, so what happens in the next 15 minutes or so will probably determine the outcome of the battle. Okay. So you, it looks good that you have some reserves. So put the reserves in as needed. Rotate the units as you need to, and hopefully we hold. So good luck. Thanks. Marshall? Yes, I'm here. Uh, do you know um, um, how far is the artillery can shoot? No, um, usually it can shoot pretty far, comparatively okay. speaking. Usually like 1,600 paces or 2,000 paces. So, 2,000? Uh, yeah. Depending on the size of the gun, if they're twelve pounders, they can reach two thousand paces traditionally. Okay. Uh, Zaldinsky. Okay, I'll be right back. Yes. Sorry. Yeah. Um. We. I think we have a problem.
Holy shit, yeah, I see him. Uh, it's the artillery is here, and uh, I have seen that here is uh, another artillery, and they, are, they can shoot me here. When I mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. was on the side, the 2,000 pieces, yeah. and then they can shoot me. Okay. And I'm here, uh, I'm I'm open, I'm uh, here's, uh, uh, I cannot hide me, uh, hide. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, if you see, the western flank is now broken, so I need to use my units to to fill the gap. Oh, I haven't seen it. Oh man, Alter. Yes. Oh. The, yeah. the cavalry is not yours. Huh? The um, cavalry to the to the left of the screenshot is not. Uh... I think we must go. Oh, oh, um, uh, uh, do you think we can attack and uh, uh, um, kill the infantry here, or we um, go yeah, back we, and we save? Are, well, we are, we are. <laughs> excuse me for the word. We are fucked. I mean, everybody is <laughs> retreating. Look at the look at the stream. <laughs> <I mean. Yeah. laughs> Okay, yeah. um, God, oh my God, uh, yes, okay, um, yeah. yeah I think the battle is over. <laughs> um, then we may make our fallback plan, or? Well, we can, but I suppose uh, the Empire yeah. will, call, oh. will call the game and, uh, yeah. Okay, I, I, I um, sent a message to v uh, Wellington that we uh, fall back. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. I, I, yeah, okay. Um, Zeldinski? Yes? Um, why our, uh, or my, um, infantry, uh, goes, um, uh, so far, uh, back? I suppose they are routed, so they are flying away from the field of battle. Hello, I think Blazer's is about to yeah. that, but, um, the battle's reached a, a pretty much an end point, so Blazer's just resolving uh, a couple of turns himself to get a final outcome. Okay. Get to observe. Just okay. in case your, your pieces were going to the moon in a single turn. Um, yes. Okay. And I am back on station, so. Marshall? Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me? Uh, yes. Uh, do you know um, um, I can take the artillery with uh, infantry division and go back with this, and then I have it back? Or yeah, uh, it looks like it? it looks like they've uh, busted through. If we don't have the ability to counterattack, and it doesn't look like we can, we need to withdraw. Uh, I'd be on my way to Wellington now, but I think Wellington would agree we need to withdraw and preserve the army. Okay. I can do it or, or not. Yes or no? Yes, you have permission. Okay, thank you.
Hello. I'm here, gentlemen. Um, they've broken through at the center. The battle is lost. Yeah, I know. I've authorized a withdrawal. Right. We're already we're already withdrawn. Okay. Good. They uh, like some of the res resolutioning. Yeah. It's it's insane. This, this was ridiculous, but I I'm not I, I'm not someone who's just gonna wait about. It. It's no problem. Uh, I. I, I I can concede defeat uh, when it's really deserved, but I mean, I just don't get it. He was routed two times, yet he still had the strength to make another charge. And, and us not responding. Yeah. Those are new. Our guns didn't even have those were the chance. Yes. That's it's not even that the that the guns didn't have a chance. Okay, he's charging the guns in the flank. But I've told the infantry units like for two turns now that that's what he's going to do. It wasn't some surprise. I don't see how he didn't just get shot in the face the, the second he crashed. The exactly. Yeah. I don't see why that didn't happen. I'm just totally confused, but it happened. I, I, I can concede it doesn't matter. It's just a game in the end, and uh, Wellington probably just going to win at, Catcher, uh, at uh, Waterloo anyway. So in the end, this is a victory as much as it is a defeat. People, all right. I need to know how the resolution works. Uh, hello, hello. Yeah, we're gonna hello. get to see the whole map in a minute. I think where the battle's ended. Oh my god, moving people is actually driving me insane. If you right-click on your name and go move to lobby, it's a lobby. Yeah, I know, so, but it's taking forever. It's still a bad idea. <laughs> oh. And I keep moving people, like, point one millisecond after someone else has moved them, so I'm just moving them to the wrong channel. Is that everyone up here? Yes. Uh, I, think that, I think that's everyone. Alright, before I break Fog of War, I'm going to ask both CNCs who they think won, um, and what they think their opponent's objective was. So let's start with the uh, crisis. So who do you think won, and what do you think the British objective was? Um, well, I think a lot of the way through this, I felt that the British were going to win at least on points. Like, we were trying to win minor, but watching what I just saw happen on their flank, uh, I think we won this. If not for right this minute, I think we've basically broken their army's position. So I'd say we won this one. And I think the British objective was to hold the crossroads and also to hold open the road, the Namu road to the Prussian army. All right. And uh, Wellington or Special Zendos, uh, who do you think won? And what do you think the French objective was? I mean, it's historical, so you can kind of guess, but... I don't even know if this, if you're expecting a different answer. We clearly lost, period. I, I just couldn't have expected such a quick breakthrough on the uh, crossroads, but yeah, I, I'd have expected that their objective was really just to uh, stop any sort of uh, uh, British uh, uh, possible aid, uh, British aid reaching uh, the Prussians, and basically uh, the ground objective would have been to seize the uh, crossroads in that case. Yeah, you're both more or less right. The French objective was basically uh, take the crossroads and then either move right to support Grouchy or move up in preparation for a march on a, on a Brussels. Um, British was basically hold the crossroads, essentially, or possibly uh, launch an attack southwards in support of uh, Blucher, but that doesn't really look, that wasn't really practical, so yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, before, before Alex, you, do you want to... Oh, just okay. before you, and I, I want to say that I, despite what happened the last couple of updates, I genuinely didn't think we were going to be, be able to pull it off the way things were going. I'd started sending out orders saying, hey, um, hold this ground. I sent a message to the Emperor saying, look, there are more British here than there should be. I don't know. I don't believe we can, we can hold them here. But I don't... We can try and cut the road, but I don't think we can carry the crossroads. So... Um, unless you send me to Erlon, there's not much I can do here. And then my division commanders did anyway. So 
without before we know anything else, overwhelming thanks to the French division commanders. Right. Well, uh, Alex, uh, we'll give everyone a chance to speak in a moment, but um, I'll. Uh, Alex, would you like to give a brief summary yes. of the entire game? You can now look at a, you can get a good play-by-play -play by watching my stream. So here's what the plans were. The French had three main advance axes of advance. They had one here, they had a division going here, and they had a division going here. The British began the game with a defense on this line. They also had held this farmhouse, this farmhouse. So it began was the left French command met decided to ignore the farmhouse that it was near, and they just kept pushing. That was Flaw's division, uh, supported by um, some uh, uh, Hazars and uh, Lancias. Jerome looked at this farmhouse and made it his life's goal to take it, which actually delayed his attack by about an hour. So this, the British center was actually unengaged for a good portion of the early game. The right French division was delayed by taking this house, which actually, in my opinion, ended up being a net blunder for the British, because if the French had full deployed here, as was planned, there was a division coming from here, and there was a division coming from here, and they would have gotten lynched. That's not happened. Though. What happened instead was this farmhouse was taken. The French held this cross this uh, area, which is between two streams, and Crisis decided. This is this is what this is what happened on the French right. Let's just talk about that. A British division came up. They held here. They're going to make an advance. It was a small division. And then they started building a line here as a fallback line. Crisis redeployed an entire regiment of QSEA. They went around. And they appeared at literally the perfect time as the French were beginning their advance. And they went in straight. And when that happens in Napoleonic Warfare, you're fucked. You can't stop cavalry and infantry with no cavalry support. Now, you may be asking yourself, how did that happen? There was a giant British cavalry force that came in from here. They happened to see some French hussars, and they sent their, they sent the fucking, uh, they sent the kitchen sink at this French hussars and beat them back. But the French fought in two lines, and their second line actually managed to, uh, to countercharge. For those of you guys who don't understand how Napoleonic cavalry tended to fight, this is how it usually go. It looked like this. So this line charges this line. This line loses. This line countercharges. This line countercharges that one. That's not an unreasonable way how it might go. However, Fla could not get a breakthrough on the British center because he was getting no support from Jerome. So he eventually pulled back and just kind of held. Jerome had another brigade, and he sent it into this force. The British realized what was happening, and he got the hell out of Dodge. And then Jerome and Foy began a general advance on the new British center here, while Marshal Ney took his cavalry and started wreaking havoc in this open area. And... As this division was crunched, they started sending reinforcements to stem the tide, but it was a combination of bad luck and there just wasn't enough. And the French just kept rolling over and kept pressing. And eventually, they got here to the end, and this whole French command is spent. There's nothing else this French... This French command used its last breath to, to break this, uh, this the, British, uh, the, British, the British left on the French right. In addition, there's an in-game breakthrough on the center, from Jerome, with the Fresh Regiment. And Foy was also starting to uh, pour in an additional command. Uh, one thing to note here is the, is the French had a numbers advantage. So, they, most of their, what happened was, most British attacks looked like this. But they were being attacked 
like this. So they'd beat back the first line, and then the second line would just move in, and usually they dead carry the day. Right? And if you see a lot of Napoleonic battles, that's how you usually fought. Right? You'd have two lines of infantry. And the British just didn't have enough to fight like that in a lot of places. And where they did, they didn't have enough reserves on the second line. So the overall impression that I got from this was the British cavalry had reformed near in the end. The British are going to be able to pull out. They're going to pull out this right here. They have the cavalry to screen their advance. The French do not have the cavalry to screen. They have used they they are spent. The second corps is spent. And both of these commands would be able to, would be able to fight at Waterloo in a in a theoretical follow-up, but neither of them would be able to fight at the same effectiveness. The British would be leaning a lot heavier on the second corps. The French would be leaning a lot heavier on the first corps. In fact, they might they might uh, the sixth corps might have to be brought into it. It would depend. Um so this is kind of almost like a, a it almost One feels thing, like a um, pyrrhic victory for the French in some ways. Yeah, I think that's broadly correct. One thing I will mention is that the French have, I think, about eight squadrons of completely fresh light cavalry yeah. that's not been committed. But that's not really enough to pursue this whole core. Yeah, it's, but it yeah, it's not something. enough with, with... Yeah, exactly. Uh, they might be able to bring in some from uh, Derlon, but uh, that's, they only had a division as well. But... Um, they do also, I should also mention Peter, or not Peter, but Pires on the left has got three squadrons of cavalry, so they might be able to beat something off, but yeah. uh, I think this is still, it's uh, my general analysis is that this is, then the French have done better than historically, but um, they'll take the crossroads. And the but British then the speaking... British also had less than historically. In real life, the yeah. British brought everything. Or they brought a lot. Uh, like the French were they, outnumbered, I, well, what, two to one or two thirds? Uh, no, I didn't cut that Three much out. Um, I cut the Brunswickers, which is like a, an infantry division and a cavalry, like a cavalry brigade. The um, main point is, in the real battle, the French were outnumbered. But in this battle, the French had, the, had numerical advantage, yeah. So yeah, that was another thing yeah. that kind of helped the French out. Of course, that's part of the fun. For all you guys who are umpires of of making games, is sometimes you create a you take a battle like this that ever, most people know. Quite the bra is pretty well known. It's you know it's part of one of those famous campaigns of all time, and you flip something on its head to mess with mess with people. So the Brit, so a British player might be going, oh well you know we have the numbers advantage, but you don't. But you'll yeah. play like it. That's exactly. And it changes what how you play. That's yeah. What... Yeah. Um. All right. Uh, I think I've kind of. Given my broad, given my broad thoughts, uh, yeah, I think the French have done better than historically, which makes sense since they obviously had more, uh, and the f British are retreating in. I think this is more more or less a rout. They might get a brief rear guard on the left and maybe in the centre, and maybe with some of this cav. But the British do have more fresh cavalry. But uh, uh, I think the uh, so the British will probably be able to get out, but they're yeah pretty badly mauled, but so are the French, so I don't know. Uh, let's go through uh, the Duke of Wellington, Arthur Wellesley. You got any thoughts? A lot. Probably not going to get through them all, but first thing I will say is well fought, and I think uh, the French did absolutely fantastic. They really did perform more better than historically, but then again, that's probably because they had more than expected. Uh, one thing to note is that it is correct that I was under the impression that we had the numbers in advantage, though I did notice in the order of battle that the uh, Brunswick uh, Corps had been removed. It was actually the first thing that came to my attention, attention as I happened to be uh, viewing the uh, British order of battle for Catcher Bra. So I was expecting it to be there, since it was a pretty famous unit during the Napoleonic Wars. Uh, and then it wasn't. But I didn't think it would make such a huge difference that we would have been outnumbered as much as we were here. Uh, they had a somewhat slight advantage, I think, from what I got a look at. Um, so during the briefing, one thing I should mention is I told my uh, uh, commanders to be on the, uh, to be very wary because the uh, French troops might not have been the ones from 1805 or 1809. But they were still veterans from 1813 and 1814, and they were really good. They Historically, they gave Wellington a run for his money, and they really did put a lot of pressure on him than most people would like to think. So 
I, I really warned them that this would be a lot harder than most thought. Uh, I, I do think, however, that I realized that the French would put a lot more focus on the flanks, uh, just that I didn't have enough to counter that. Uxbridge stopped with his entire force, uh, so we couldn't exactly counter the uh, balanced uh, uh, battle group in the, on the uh, left flank, meaning that our cavalry, our cavalry was being tied down to our right flank, and we couldn't exactly do anything with them because if they moved away, uh, the French would just attack there and we'd be routed. So I, I was very much losing confidence as the game went, uh, as I began to realize how much the French really had, how much they were really throwing at us, and it was very much worrying. Uh, I think that if Cook hadn't tried to make his attack uh, we might have had a better chance at forming the defensive line. I still don't understand why he went to attack. I didn't attack. They said it, but uh, whatever. He went into the peach orchard, essentially. That's what he did. <laughs> I still don't understand why he decided to go forward. If I'm not going to say attack, since he didn't attack, apparently. He had the orders. He knew that he was supposed to head towards the uh, catcher bra line. And I'm fairly certain that we would have had a better chance of holding if he had gone and followed his orders. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, on the uh, competence of my subordinates, uh, Marshall performed fa fantastically. Uh, nice. I, I think I made the uh, right choice to uh, place him as uh, the Prince of Orange, as he did really good. He coordinated his uh, infantry divisions well. He knew when the battle was lost, and I think he uh, did well communicating with me. Uh, he, ma he made a few points that were correct during the battle, uh, that we shouldn't, that me and him shouldn't be concentrated as a whole, and that he should go handle one front and I should go handle the other, just to try and uh, increase the effectiveness of our command which I think was a good suggestion. Uh, of course, I followed that. Uh, and as a whole, I think I made the one of my wrong uh, decisions, which was wrong in this case, was to deploy those infantry units at the, those farms because uh, I really underestimated how much they could have held, them off, uh, held off the French. But they did pin them down a lot. Uh, I believe that an entire uh, brigade was uh, stopped uh, around the, uh, gr uh, I don't know how to spell it, but it's the uh, farmhouse on the uh, left part of the map. I think, yeah, I think a lot of troops were stopped there, which allowed us to uh, try and analyze the situation even more and react properly to it. Which is on, uh, which is probably the only good effect that came out of it. Otherwise, about 600 troops just surrendered to the enemy and walked over to their lines after they had they had been attacked mercilessly by about like 5,000 French troops. Overall, uh, I don't think there was a great way to win this without huge casualties for either side. Uh, so in this case, a Pyrrhic victory can have been expected for both sides. The only thing that I was surprised really was that Ney had more than historically. Also, one last thing. When he made his charge at the last turn, that's when I was really... I just had a big problem with what happened there. As well as about everyone who was there on the British side. Uh, how did Ney managed to recover cuirassiers who squadrons of cuirassiers aren't even that big i'm I, i'm pretty sure that during the no, part I think those were fresh those were yeah fresh. they were um he swapped them out yeah, the well, one yeah they were they wow. had been that was it they, no, no, he had four he originally it looked to you like he went in with two but he actually went in with four and two of them were lightly beaten back at the, at the very beginning of his attack and they just sat there reforming for like an hour and then they went in at the what very end. What we mean is rather that we had been giving orders for pretty much two turns beforehand. 
saying that he's going to come over the crest of that hill and he's going to charge the artillery on the side. So the infantry is to shoot him while he's doing that. And uh, when the attack inevitably came and he crests the hill, I don't understand why he wasn't just shot where he stood. And he got well, to we, charge through an entire artillery battery and then we were. into the flank. P Picton, we brought two squadrons in. One of them went at you and got shot back, which is what these guys are. Yeah, but... I'm pretty so sure both squadrons got destroyed. Have, but while two, you were yeah, the other one was... Yeah, well. two, we have two the battalions, though. Both squadrons got They're... destroyed, and then the artillery, but the artillerymen were like, "Fuck this!" and just walked. They were. Away. They had been. They'd been under counter battery fire from for like twenty five minutes yeah. as well. No, I can so... understand them. I can understand them just going, you know. But I'm not dealing with this. But like I'm just... you've been, you've been no. being shot at for like almost half an yeah. hour, and then like a hundred. Here, they were defeated. You know? I don't. I don't know where you're getting the idea that they weren't. No. I'm yeah, but because they kind of uh, charged it. Now. Because that they managed to have still have the strength. And they have two units. I don't see why one cuirassier tied down two of our units when the other one wasn't even going at our other unit. At no, 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 it's not that. It's that we'll, um, we, we'll let you everyone told them to go after them, didn't you? I mean, um, you literally tied them up yourself. Uh, Nay, what, what are your thoughts? Uh, crises, Nay. Oh, right. Okay. In terms of our initial plans, I mean, again, I'm going to just call out the amazing division commanders I had here. Um, we the initial plan was to go hard on the flanks, go lightly in the center, and going lightly in the center took us longer than we expected because we got hung up on those farms. But then when we understood that Foy, Foy was already behind attacking the Bossa Wood from behind, we had to get moving, and so we pushed up through there. I'm very pleased with the way all all the division commanders worked in two lines, and so. Yeah, they were able to, as Alex was discussing, attack with one, and then when they got disordered, attack with the other one, which was fresh while the first group was regrouping, and just keep up the pressure. Uh, Pier tying down Uxbridge, even though that got him largely beaten up. Excellent. Uh, Ryle retaining um, fresh lances. All right, looking at the end, I see we carry on both the flanks. I'm, I'm very pleased. In fact, I'm astonished. With how we went near the end i genuinely thought we were getting bogged down and i just sent a letter to the emperor saying we can't really go any further without durlon but we will tie down these people and we'll try and cut this cut the nassau road and then next thing i i'm doing this flanking attack here and i see bashalu has just kept grinding and he's smacked into the um he's overrun cook um and then jerome's apparently interdicted the crossroads in terms of what happens next I've just noticed we seem to have wiped out every battery of artillery on the in this part of the Allied army, which might have an impact for Waterloo. Um, they, I'm sure they have a reserve somewhere, but uh, it, it, incredible timing from Le Heretier as well. Like that was obviously some time in getting there, but just emerging out on that flank and just riding straight into them. Wonderfully done, gentlemen. Thank you. Uh, one thing that will probably affect Waterloo is. Uh... The British Guard were basically, they had no cavalry, uh, and they were outnumbered, um, outnumbered about three to one and outflanked by enemy cuirassiers, and they were pretty much completely routed. So uh, they're pretty, yeah, the British Guard, they're, they'll be able to recover, but they're pretty badly beaten up. Uh, oh, yes, just in terms of um, changing, the, oh, we, had, we had more troops than I realized, but was I right that a lot of these tro allied troops got in quite early? Because I understood they drew, they came in across like many many hours. Eventually they numbered us, but yeah, I, thought... I sort of uh, I compressed them, and because it would be kind of boring to have someone sitting around for uh, half the game, just sort of you're in a reserve position, or you know well, you're uh, you're not you're yeah, the it's reinforcement. Not, it's not a thing so... in Waterloo, but we're like we just need to get the game going. It, it was yeah. when I ran it. I ran this with a different map before, and I got some snarky comments from people who had to wait for quite a while, and that's fair. I yeah. think I was initially going to yeah. be reserved because I was going to be like an hour late, but you hadn't started when I arrived. An hour late. Yeah. Um, one thing uh, I... And... Think... No, sorry, go ahead. Uh, yeah, we just basically... The British did have some reinforcements arriving, but for the French, we basically compressed it to... Uh, Everyone there. Make it a bit easier. <laughs> One thing that it was also sort of a, a nice uh, semi historical thing where if the, I think if the French had attacked, if they'd managed to get an attack going right at the very start, they could have probably broken the Dutch division before the other British arrived. Um, and then possibly, you know, 
routed the whole British formation. That would be very difficult to do, but at the start of the scenario, the Dutch are basically completely alone, with the others like uh, like an hour or so away. So, I mean, it, it could have been possible, but uh, it would require them to be quite coordinated. Um, I suppose we'll go through the umpires now. Uh, Alex, you sort of talked already, but if you've got any more thoughts, go ahead. I don't know if you said this, but uh, Crisis, uh, Justin spent the whole game thinking that there was a decent chance that Darlon would might be able to show up if he asked hard enough. Uh, but I, if you don't mind me uh, throwing you under the bus slightly, uh, 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 Blazer, he told he said in his words, "Yeah, so Darlon's not even like I don't have any made the pieces yet, so he's just not going to show up." That's fine. <laughs> I, I, I was, I was I think... hoping he'd show up. I saw the thing in the briefing saying he might show up, but I was very damn careful with all my orders to say, not to say, come now, Durlon, but to say, hey, if you've got no orders from Napoleon, yeah. come. <laughs> I did not want Durlon to rush back of the force. So he was, at, he well, was not just, here. I he decided that's really funny because that's a page of the Marshall Book of Evil. A lot more, <laughs> a lot more gentle I mean, hey, than the actual name. Technically, it's uh, technically it's historical because they believed uh, Delon would show up, but it was <laughs> impossible. Like how Napoleon thought didn't. Gucci would show up. Yeah. Um. Anyway, where is Gucci? Uh, uh, you got any more stuff, cook. Alex? Or boundary is nice. Oh yeah. Well, um, I, I I'll ask for general feedback on Foundry, I suppose, in a minute. But uh, we'll go through the other umpires on the game first, and then we'll go through. Um. Next we'll uh Michael Mouse was this I think this was your first time umpiring? Yeah. Uh any thoughts on the game? Uh it was interesting to see how it played out. And uh sort of watching the stuff happen that drives me insane in battles happening to other people. Which was uh... a nice way. <laughs> um is the gobbler still here? Yeah. You got yes. any thoughts? Um, I'll, I'll share my favorite moment. Uh, Foundry, as you've all seen, you can see the umpires resolving their orders. Uh, so we had a situation where Cook was down in Piermon. He'd ordered his troops to basically not advance, but advance to a line that would allow him better, better defensive posture, basically. And Picton was with him. Just when he finished issu issuing the orders, I'd just taken them in. I was about to move Picton, who had asked to go back to his own division, but to move him away. When Picton goes, hey, hey, look, look, look in the south pointing out the squadrons of French cuirassiers who just showed up with um, Cook unable to do anything about it because I'd just taken his orders and I had to leave him with them. Um, yeah, good luck. I think we're... Uh, oh, great. that's, a bit, like, when he, that's when he a bit like... That's a bit like my moment where I think it was Picton and Cook again where I was like, gave the orders and then at that exact moment Nay's cav just appeared and killed the artillery. <laughs> so it happened twice. Unlucky. Um... Who else was umpiring? Um, I think Crusader there were more. Here. Yeah, Crusader. I think that's everyone. Um, we'll go through. I think core commanders and maybe a couple of division commanders, but I don't think we've got time to have literally everyone talking. Uh, Marshall, you were the the Prince of Orange of First Corps, British First Corps. What are your <laughs> thoughts on the game and on Foundry as a program? Yeah. Well, um, uh, I congratulate myself on my glorious victory. Um, also, I think Special Zendos like was, the there. Real Prince of did. was there somewhere, and I think I think Justin was or played or was involved in some way. But but yes, um, no, uh, seriously, uh, I think it was a cool scenario. Uh, I really liked it. Um, originally, we were supposed to be out here in the south, and our goal was really to kind of slow down the French. They seemed to oblige us by not attacking for like 90 minutes. And then we were like, well, we should probably leave. We've got our main line of defense formed and they're building up pressure and they're going to attack any time. And I don't think we can ultimately hold them. So we might as well preserve our force and fall back, which we started to do. And about that same time they did attack, they, you know, um, up until the last turn of the game, I actually thought we were doing really well. We were kind of winning, in my opinion, until then suddenly we weren't. They broke through like in two places. And when I um, observed the breakthrough in the center, I basically unilaterally ordered a withdrawal to preserve the army, which I felt was the reasonable thing to do. Um, Zindos did a very good job with command. I do think that we were all clumped together a little much. We were having tea parties, uh, and we need to cut down on that. That's always a pet peeve of mine. 
Uh, I think the French clearly played uh, their hand very well. Um, I think Foundry is pretty cool. I would like to see the Fog of War programmed in. I understand that wasn't the purpose of today's exercise. It was a stress test. Once we get the Fog of War programmed in, I think it'll be really phenomenal. And also we need to hide the hands because the hands are moving everywhere. The only downside I see for this is for our audience who will be watching the game, we're going to have to have some sort of dedicated announcer role so that the audience can see the whole game unfold and not any more from this one person's perspective because it's just too quiet, too long, too, too small a view to be exciting for our viewers, I feel. Uh, but that being said, um, I think it was a very successful battle. It was an outstanding scenario. I'm very pleased with you, Blazer. I think you're probably our best umpire in the entire IKS. And uh, I'm very thrilled, and it was great to see Alex in action as well. So my compliments to everybody. I don't have anything negative really to say. Thank you. All right. Um, thanks a lot for that. Good uh, job, Mr. Chris. Neil. Um, Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, we're basically, um, Foundry's just had a, pretty major update so a lot of the modules that we use or where that we were using need to be updated to sort of be compatible mm -hmm. um so we've got our, our custom kriegspiel ones updated um but we're still waiting on the one that lets us add in a, a more accurate fog of war stuff and also the uh the one that lets us hide hands as well mm -hmm. um but uh who else uh Rio, be you handy. Be... yes <laughs> Riel, um, you were the French first corps commander. What are your thoughts? Yes, like um, first of all, it's, it was my second game, uh, so <laughs> I was still learning ropes. Um, I enjoyed it. Uh, I enjoyed Foundry. Um, from my perspective, like I mean, I was a corps corps commander, but uh, uh, I was really um, like assisting commander. It was uh, Ney was on the field, and uh, basically we were following, um, uh, you know, the wing commander's uh, plan. So uh, I tried to just basically stay with the division commanders, uh, also get some <laughs> get some knowledge about the situation, relay relay orders, move around the the divisions, uh, basically um know know what's coming was the situation and then relay orders back to the to the left uh, flank where i mostly was at uh, i made some mistakes when it comes to micromanaging uh, i admit uh, when it comes to first brigade uh, i left some of the squadrons that initially had orders unattended but all in all, I, I understand that um, not everything goes according to plan. Um, I was hoping that the first brigade, uh, first cavalry brigade, uh, that I uh, moved back to the command of Pir for a time, reaches uh, the left flank sooner and would be able to assist more. Um, that's all. I, that's all I, I can say. You know, um, I was. I'm still. You know, I'm still learning the ropes. Thank you for the game. All right. Um, I don't know um, who would be particularly interesting to talk to. Uh, maybe Jerome of Sixth Division. You had the largest. I think the largest uh, divisional command in the. It's definitely the largest French one. I think the largest, uh, including the British as well. So, uh, what are your thoughts on the game and on Foundry as a program? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, so yeah, I was commanding the Central Infantry Division. I well, I made an error in the beginning. I I, I thought I would be able to just roll over that single battalion, Belgium or Dutch battalion, in that farmhouse, and I lost a lot of time uh, trying to fight it. Uh, but basically, yeah, that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So, but I, I mean, in Ogubon, at least it was a British foot guard, not a militia Dutch battalion. Anyway, uh, but yeah, I made a few errors, but basically all the charges I ordered, um, I mean, the, the, the few charges I ordered uh, didn't really work well. And the charges I didn't order uh, worked perfectly well. So I'm very happy with it. 
um, and uh, on Foundry. Uh, I think it's. I mean, if that's if that makes the game quicker, that's great. I wish we instead of having that fog of war. Uh, I wish we had like. Um, I don't know if it's possible, but having no fog of war on the map, but rather only on units. So you will be able to see the map, but that, not um, the units. That is possible. I... We're working on it. Uh, we've got it working in oh. the past, but I think with the new update, they've changed it. So that's definitely possible. And yeah, we'll probably have great. that at Waterloo. And I think also that uh, we were able to see too much, probably. Yeah, so... that's mostly because... Um, as I said, the module that lets us do different heights and things isn't in yet. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, that'll. Yeah, but uh, even at come. the cycle or the distance we were able to see, I think it was yeah. too great. Yeah, I might cut it down in general. Maybe uh, a thousand pieces rather than. I think, I think it should be 1,600. Yeah, I mean, I, I would agree with you probably, Alex, but. People seem to like seeing lots of things, so I might make it maybe 800. I think I had a, a 800 in the last Foundry game I run, and people disliked that, so maybe a thousand, maybe 1200. I don't know. Um, all right, who else was uh of particular note? Um, uh, sure, yeah, Major General Cook, what are your thoughts? You there? I'm there. Okay, sorry. I, I didn't respond to the name. Oh, well, my thoughts is that uh, Nays counter charge without a single resp I mean, sure, we fired back four of them, like two of them. But still, I think something they shouldn't have kept going that far in my opinion, but you know, you, you know best, I suppose. Uh, I, I, just... I feel like you're misunderstanding that whole situation. It wasn't Oh, you sent two back, and then they came back and fucked you. It was you sent two back, and then two more who you who had just been sitting behind the ridge. Yeah, yeah I understand. Doing nothing. I just mean that, uh, like Nay uh, going. And you, you did beat them up pretty badly. It's just they also managed to break that artillery. Had been suffering counter battery for two turns. So okay. Yeah. Well, and I wonder a little. Just a little, like how they managed to storm the ridge. So easy. Oh yeah, no, I'm not wondering. I realized it was nothing. Well played by the French. So I can say, but it was a little sad that we had less than realistic. Any um thoughts on Foundry? Yeah, it was was cool. It's a little like more laggy and things, and. Uh, it's hard. It's hard for me to use because when I right click to move, it like uh, sometimes it sends me back and deletes the. So, but otherwise, yeah. it was cool for the war system. I suppose it's um. Even if it's laggy, it's still less laggy than getting one screenshot every fifteen minutes or whatever. Yeah. You know. True. You can see like live changes, and it was nice. Yeah. I uh, don't know. Um. This is just addressed to everyone. What's the general consensus on? Do you like seeing things being updated live, or would it be worth trying to work out a way to like freeze your screen? I think it's. To, yeah, if I can start this quick, I think it's more realistic to see it live, in my opinion. I suppose so, in some ways. I like um, it too. All right, maybe. We'll keep it. I think it's more fun to see it live um, because, by God, I'm sure there's going to be some terrifying things that people are going to see and uh, um, be immensely stressed for the next five minutes. The only uh, caveat to foundries, I, I still think that, um, especially for CIC or core command roles, having uh, blinds for them to be able to place outside of their fog of war, what have you, would be something that's really, would be really nice to have, so if a tabletop module could be made yeah. in parallel, not to replace Foundry where Foundry is, but the umpires use, and what's actually, what the game is run on, whereas Tabletop Simulator is used for trying to see the big picture. That that yeah, yeah, and I know some people like having that so they can physically, even though it's not very realistic since you're supposed to be in the saddle. I know people like having that to help visualize 
what's happening. One thing, um, we might be able to allow the CNC or anyone really to draw anywhere just for themselves, so you could sketch at least on the map. You wouldn't really be able to place pieces, but you could at least say, you know, draw a line where you think the rest of the enemy line is or whatever. One thing um, I, would, I would call out, like, I thought I agree that I thought it was fun to watch the things moving, so it would be a better idea of what's happened in what order. But sometimes, for example, when I got my news update, and then by the time you came back to talk to me again, and you weren't away that long, I could already see pieces moving, so I was sort of reacting to things other people were doing in the future, kind of, just because that's what I had yeah. in front of me. I think if we do move to this, we sort of need to think of things less in a sort of turn-based way, and more in a sort of not quite real time, need, but if, sort if, of, you know. The way I think of it is like this. You pair them, um, you have an umpire pair in there for each side, and we would go through together. So, like, if two, you know, two divisions are opposing each other, so it's, we talk to them at the exact same time, and then you move them at the exact same time, and you move to the next one. Yeah, I think yeah. that's yeah. to be how, how it works. That works if in a very particular all right, so it looks like we're just uh, we're ready to wrap up here. I'm ready to wrap up. I'm pretty tired. Um, we're going over the post game debrief. Uh, it looks like the debrief for the battle is done. Now we're just talking about Foundry, which is a really cool system that should allow us to overcome some of the limitations in Tabletop Simulator. However, there are other issues, and those are technical issues, and we think we can uh, resolve them. Nonetheless, it is what it is, and um, it's going to take time to do that, just like it took us time to get going with Tabletop Simulator. Anyway, this was the game. Um, I hope it wasn't too slow or too boring. I don't think it was that slow. It was just the view was quite restricted, so there wasn't as much to see and there wasn't as much to talk about. So that probably made it a little tougher to enjoy. Nonetheless, um, we'll be working on these issues in the future, and um, we'll probably start having someone commentate the games regularly with a view of the full map so that it remains uh, more entertaining or remains entertaining or whatever, rather than just looking at the uh, battle through you know the hole of a straw, if you will. <laughs> anyway, I want to thank you all for being here. Uh, tomorrow morning, we will have um, Coffee, Kegs, and Creek Spill Sunday mornings at 9 a.m., so uh, with that said, I'm going to sign off and I will see you on our next adventure. Bye for now.